In the White House, President Eisenhower signs the proclamation that makes Alaska's entry into the Union official, nearly 92 years after Lincoln's Secretary of State bought the territory from the Russian Tsar for $7 million. The Alaska Wild Project podcast is brought to you by the following sponsors. Barney Sports Chalet, supplying hunters with the best hand-selected gear since 1963. The exclusive home of Frontier Gear, built for the rugged Alaskan terrain. Your one-stop shop for all your outdoor needs. Visit Barney's today at 906 West Northern Lights. Big Rays, the Alaskan outfitter, committed to outfitting Alaskans across the state since 1947. Whether you're a recreator, parent, guide, or corporate buyer, Big Rays has the gear you need tailored for Alaska's harsh conditions. Check out their new exclusive line of Aurolic waders. Big Rays for all your outdoor gear and rugged work attire. BigRays.com. Tailored Restoration 24-Hour Emergency Home Services. Helping Alaskans restore their dreams since 1972. Services include fire, water, mold, post-emergency cleaning, repair, and remodeling. Give them a call in Anchorage, Eagle River, Matsu, or Fairbanks. Hit them up at tailoredrestorationalaska.com. Total Truck and Alaska Overlander, Alaska's premier supplier for custom automotive accessories and overlanding products, providing all-inclusive rental vehicles and trailers custom outfitted to explore the Alaskan backcountry with a unique and convenient traveling experience. TheTreehouseAK.com located at 341 Boniface Parkway, Alaska's own and grown cannabis and CBD store. Ask the bud tender what the strain of the day is to get your 10% off. The Treehouse, where the culture lives. AKO Farms, located in Sitka, Alaska, built from the ground up with concentrates as their single motivation, with exclusive products such as their sugar wax, full spectrum diamond sauce cards, and more. Ask your local bud tender about AKO. Marijuana has intoxicating effects and may be habit-forming and addictive. Marijuana impairs concentration, coordination, and judgment. Do not operate a vehicle or machinery under the influence. There are health risks associated with consumption of marijuana. For the use of only by adults 21 and older. Keep out of the reach of children and marijuana should not be used by women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Lawn Pro AK, Alaska's year-round professional property maintenance team. Services include weekly lawn care, custom landscaping, fertilizing, weed control, turf repair, and more. Schedule your free estimate at lawnproak.com. Alaska's OG Cider Company, Double Shovel, crafting gluten-free colonial-style ciders, founded as a healthier non-inflammatory brew option. Drop by their Pop and Tap room in Anchorage off of 58th and Arctic or visit the second location in Kodiak. Double Shovel, award-winning ciders. The Alaska chapter of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. BHA is the voice of our Alaskan public lands, waters, and wildlife. Their goal is to uphold our hunting and fishing legacy while keeping our public lands wild. Stand up today and join BHA at backcountryhunters.org. Alaska Mining and Diving Supply, located in Anchorage, is our go-to for powder sleds and utility rigs. Whether you're in the mountains with the flat bill bros, running trap lines, or hauling freight, they have the selection to get you dialed from peaks to the valleys. Find them on Commercial Drive or akmining.com. Is he a super Christian guy? No. Oh, okay. I thought I saw a post of like something the Lord. I don't think so. Something and I was like, what? I was like, I didn't think this guy was I'm not gonna say who, but I didn't think he was Christian guy. It's fair, okay if he is. Fair. No, there's nothing we love wrong him with anyway. Hundred percent there's nothing wrong with that. The yeah. Lord is wonderful. But I didn't think he was that guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, oh, I got a weird funny story talking about not really Christian, but it's kind of Christian stuff. Um, some people knocked on my door yesterday and it's super random now when people knock on your door, you're like, who the fuck is it? You think it's some kid trying to come play with your kids or it's like a drop off or you don't know who it is, right? Salsa salesman. Door stash. Close, <laughs> close. So I go down there. I'm literally just got home from ice fishing. I'm in my fucking long johns, you know? Right. And I got a ice thing on my knee cause my knee got all fucking swollen. So I'm thinking it's like a neighborhood kid. I'm just gonna answer the door. Like, I don't give a fuck. And it's these two dudes, and like, hey, I'm like, hey, like, uh, we kind of have a weird thing. We're doing a promotion around here, and uh, we were wondering if we could make you if you if you're into salads. <laughs> and at first, I thought it was some <laughs> shit that local greens is doing. I was like, what is this? I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm into salads. Yeah, and he's like, all right. He's like, cool. Do you mind if we make you one? 
like right now fresh and i was like sure okay he's like okay well all you need is a bowl so i was like okay hold on you know what i'm saying so i my dog's like trying to fucking get out the door so i close the door i'm like hold on i'm gonna go put the dog away and go get the bowl so i go get the bowl and my wife's like who's who's that who's she's all in her sweatpants she ain't trying to have someone come in the house you know yeah she's like who's that i was like i don't know they're trying to make a salad she's like what (laughs) i was like we need a bowl she's like gets me a bowl she's like that bowl i was like i don't know just any bowl so i go down there and and i grab the bowl and they're coming back and they have this shit in their hands and they're like okay well do you have like a a table um a table or something where we can kind of chop this up and in my head i'm like you should have said that yeah before you know what i'm saying so i'm like okay um audible i'm like come in we'll go in the garage so I go in and I bring them into the garage. And I said, just come in with their shoes. And they got their bags of like lettuce and other shit. And uh, the garage is a fucking ropes. nightmare, dude. Because we had bro- big brothers, big sisters coming today. So there's mm. all these boxes and bags and shit on the way. Because we're going to put it all outside. Right. And there's no room on the fucking table. And he's like, oh, what about a place to wash my hands? And I was like. This is a lot. I told <laughs> I was like, we're just going to call it. Yeah. I'm good, dude. And he's like, you sure? I was like, yep. <laughs> and I just walked him right outside the fucking door, dude. <laughs> what was it about? Yeah, uh, I've never. Uh, well, that's my point. I think they're going to lure you in with a little salad and be like, hey. Do you have five minutes to. Uh, what are you doing Sunday? Yeah. yeah, yeah Six yeah, o'clock. Yeah. But I never got, salad, I never but got to the, I never got to that mm-hmm. point. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, oh, this is after, in hindsight, I was like, oh, that was some slick, like. But they got in. Yeah. They yeah. got halfway in. They're close. Yeah, they because almost. Because before your, I almost got saved. Could touch that salad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mind we if we could we say a prayer? To, we gonna have to do oh, a little t- thing. T- oh, that's it, right? <laughs> yeah, there. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Can yep. you bring your family down here? Yeah. <laughs> we need to bless this food before we eat it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, mm-hmm. my wife was just like, I just tell them from the door. I don't even go to the door. She just comes out the front porch and be like, I'm good. Thank you. And just like closes the door. <laughs> She's like, I don't even ask what they want. We had a Kirby back. So it's in our neighborhood. So they're coming around. Dude. dude. So we need to get to the bottom of it. I had a Kirby. And you should be like, guy. do you like, want some greens for the salad? That's that might right. be a potential you good buy, sale. Actually. The greens. I that's thought right. the Kirby thing was over with. Dude. Oh, the Kirby tactic, dude. Did you do the Kirby tactic on them? Where you make him do your whole shit, and he, then you say no? He Well, he he was like, can I vacuum? And I was like, sure, dude. And so I started letting him in, and then I had, like, five kids over, and I was like, never mind. Like, <laughs> I'm not, not cleaning up all this shit. Oh, and, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I used to have him come do the stairs, and be like, oh, how does it work, like, on the stairs? <laughs> and what about what about this? You know what I'm saying? And I would have him do all this yeah, shit. Yeah. Try the garage. Damn, I'll meet you out there. <laughs> but I got one. I got a Kirby now. Yeah? Yeah, it's my mom's. Stole it. Fair enough. She don't use it. I don't have carpet, so. And you don't need it. That's right. This is all city talk. People don't come to Willow to do that stuff. No, this is a broom. <laughs> Somebody knocks on your door, you go out with a gun. You're like, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> See? See? Yeah, so that was really weird. I hit Speaking a of what you uh, brought it. up, man, tell me about that. Uh, I saw you back, man. My back? No, oh, you're fishing? back. Yeah, the old, oh, fishing? old, old captain. Uh, uh, Drill, drill team, team drill captain, team captain. Man. I need to get my. Can I get a drill team captain design with the auger? Heck yeah! You know, and some kind of funny comment on there. Oh, like that'd be cool. You know, I mean that comment drill, alone is kind of funny. Drill the wettest, or so, you know, what I mean yeah. something. I don't yeah. know. Drill until it's wet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> till it squirts, and then <laughs> it's like shh. <laughs> we can do it. Wet. <laughs> yeah, man. I saw the video. Um, man. Okay, so yes, I've yeah. been down and out. My son is. Um, uh, everyone, a lot of listeners know you might not know he's addicted to fishing and ice fishing and so he's been wanting to go and i've just been laid up for the last two months with the surgery and i've been itching to go and so i was like all right fuck it let's go and we had a blast dude it was so much fun it was beautiful on sunday it was sunny it was nice almost got a salad out of it <laughs> can i get it to go <laughs> um so yeah so we got to go yeah no it looked like a good time we got to go do it yeah we'll come out to willow do some willow lakes yeah yeah, that'd be fun. There's a lot going on this weekend. Yeah? Oh, with what? all the races? Oh, yeah. I did a rod and stuff. Oh, that's right. That's oh, right. yeah. yeah. So that's busy, yeah. busy. You going out there? I don't know. I might be driving a snowcat. We'll see. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Doing big, Where at? big oh. people things. Um, Sorry, go ahead. My honey owns Snowcat Services of Alaska, and they're down in operator, so I got a 10-minute uh, instruction today, and I'm going to go out on the trail tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. That'll be right cool. On. Where's that out of Willow? Yeah, he hauls out west to a couple different places out there, but... It'll be about a three-day trip if all goes well. 
Is that the same up. as um, <laughs> yeah, the bear pot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. all the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay, his brother-in-law. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, right on, man. And big shout out to them for donating the rod and the and the gifts for the um competition. Yeah, for the moose call. <laughs> yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, you know what I was when I went? I had a little panic attack when I went fishing because I'm dragging the sled across the lake and it's beautiful, but there's fresh snow because it snowed on Saturday or whatever, and I I'm just like. Whoosh! And I get to like, the, I'm like in the middle of the lake. Yep. And I just feel like a, I'm like, oh shit, dude, is this going <laughs> fucking, dude? I just start like panicking, like, and I'm the only one out there. Like, I'm like, if I fall in right now, I'm fucked. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Cause it's been warm. Right. Then it got cold and then it snowed. And I'm just thinking like the worst. And there's overflow. So that yeah. me stepping in is just like going in the thing. And I'm thinking, oh fuck, dude. I, so I just start like fucking going fast across all the way. <laughs> Total <laughs> panic mode, dude. <laughs> That would be a nightmare. Yeah. So. How deep uh, was yeah. it, though? Hella deep. Yeah. It's like three feet. Yeah. Deep. The overflow is? No, no, no. Like when you drill the hole. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, the ice. Yeah. yeah. The overflow is yeah, not yeah. that bad. It's hard to tell because all that snow on top. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Kind of like mushed it down. Gotcha. But that's got to be like when you're riding a serious concern, right? When you're crossing big lakes and shit like that, that oh, overflow definitely. can get stuck yeah. in there, right? Yeah, stay yeah. to stay to the edge. We went out to a lake out in the valley. Pull that up a little. Two bit. two years ago, I think it was. Uh, Actually, can you turn that fan off? Oh yeah, I forgot it's on. Sorry. No, you didn't. Is that what that sound is? Yeah. Oh. They can't hear it on the mics, but oh. we can hear it on noisy. Yeah, and we got out there, and there was an insane amount of overflow. Just like, what's that mean? Like feet. What, overflow? I know what overflow is. Well, for people that don't know what overflow is, explain it. But then how deep is it? So it's the overflow is when you have like a hot and cold period. Or it can still be like super cold out, but you get a lot of weight from the snow on top of the, uh, on top of the lake. Mm -hmm. And that pushes the ice down. And that water's got to go somewhere, so it just flows over through the banks. And then comes up on top of the ice and just spreads out. Yeah. And it creates water underneath or like a slush because that snow was insulating so it's really not going to freeze mm -hmm. so yeah. you have a layer of snow and then slush and then the ice does that create that ice underneath to melt faster um i think it insulates it, it insulates. or does it keep it where it's at because i was thinking about that as i was walking no it kind of it snow is a uh, insulating has an insulating property yeah yeah, so it keeps it at that temperature of whatever. Okay, so it's not going to melt right further. No, it's, it's not really going to melt. Longer. But that yeah. water under there, that would melt it, right? The from the because uh, if there's water under there and there's snow under there and that water is warmer than the ice, it's going to well, melt yeah, that ice, it's going right? to melt that top layer. But you got to think it ain't like, going to melt three. Like, no, okay. no, and every night it's refreezing. Like it's super cold, uh, okay. so that top layer is going to freeze up a little bit. But then as soon as the sun hits, it, it turns back into slush. Gotcha. Yeah, when we build the ice roads, we'll go out and plow all the snow off so it'll freeze and then pump water on top, and then it'll build a couple more layers, and we'll do that a couple days later, too. But always keeping the snow off keeps right. it frozen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Got it. And then when you get that track in there. Your track. The old <laughs> Big Betty, man. She's not uh, She's not a one for that. So she's how thick, thick is thick? Like a foot of water? Well, it depends on... Like every no, that the danger zone. No one lake is is the same. But what's like the? I mean, if it's a few inches, you just rally it. But where's it like? Oh shit! Pull off, peel off. I don't know. I just go left. fast, look behind, just and say, "Uh oh, <laughs> keep going." You just don't stop. Yeah, okay. when you see it, yeah. but usually, you you get to that that oh shit phase when when you feel the track slipping and you're not going anywhere. Like you yeah. feel it. Oh, because it's slipping like, on the ice underneath. Yeah. Because once it's it gets up stuck, water, so yeah, water and slush. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because once you get stuck in that, oh, it's a ooh, I pain in that ass. Just like it sucks out. in, right? And then it starts to freeze up once you start mm, moving. Stop yeah. moving. Mm. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, just stay on the edges. Don't go out there. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But if you're ice fishing, you kind of got it. It's yeah. a risk. We just stay you away know? from the gray snow. From the gray snow? Oh, is that like a hot tip? Well, water turns the snow a different color. It's usually grayish color. What if you're colorblind? Yeah. Just doomed. Yeah. Stay on, stay on the gray. shoreline. Mm -hmm. Just go I fast. I didn't know that. Just go fast, yeah. 
The snow changes color. Yeah. Makes like gray sense. snow means there's water. Underneath. And yellow snow. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't need it. Just don't need it. <laughs> Uh, I did go to the Iditarod thing on Saturday. Iron Dog. Okay. No, not Iron Dog. Oh. I did a ro- or for Rondi, I meant. The Rondi. The Iditarod's this Saturday. Junior Dog Machine. No, they have the day races out of downtown. Yeah, yeah. It's not Junior, but there's a Junior oh, okay. thing. I did go to the Iron Dog thing, not this year, but last year we did. We went to the Menard and to the uh, Big Lake and, and the whole deal, which was awesome. Um and you know what? Who's following through with that idea? Because we had, shout out to those boys too, uh, Bradley and um, Mike Morgan, Team 6. They got third place. Yeah. Um, so And shout out to all the riders and the first place guys. The first place guys won third place last year. That was a slow right. That kid looked young too. And the first place guy won my rap raffle. Oh, he, he did? Ooh. Yeah, I texted him today oh. if he wants it. But I was oh, like, right man, on. you better buy a lottery Okay, ticket let's put his name over there. Barber and Lap- Lapham? Cody Barber. Cody Barber. Oh, he bought a thing? He bought a rap for yours? Um, no, we did a raffle with Blondie's Coffee Co. So if you bought a coffee, you could put uh, enter to win three hundred bucks off a wrap. So oh, and you won it. Nice. Yeah, oh. hopefully he follows through. That'd be cool. Yeah, well, yeah. If you're listening, Cody. Cody, come on. It's not an option, Cody. Just wrap it. How much yeah. did they win? Um, that's a good question. Mm. That's a real good question. I think we asked about that. It was like fifteen grand or eighteen? I don't grand? know what it is. You it's know? enough for a wrap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or I don't know how much True. it is. Or two. I want to say they said it was <laughs> yeah, like, but some of them are pay a lot. They were saying, I don't know. Go back to show one fifty four. Yeah, we said it all <laughs> on there. <laughs> no, I mean it may. It's enough to make it worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah. So I know good that, for them. So, yeah. Good for them. Hundred percent. I'm intrigued by the expedition class. Okay, I wanted to talk about that. It's- I don't know anything about it, so okay, it'll good. be a short well, conversation. So is that okay? And you're what I saw that, and I saw that who was doing it? Um, Travis or uh, knows it? What's the name? Travis? No, Rice? No, not Travis Rice. <laughs> anyway, some other big dude was doing. Is that when you go with the heavy duty one and you kind of camp and just do the whole trail? Yeah, slowly? you're not like in the race. You do it ahead of time. You kind of break trail scout yeah. it out and just get to okay. go visit all the places yeah. and be a part yeah. of it. That, that sounds would awesome. Be cool. Yeah. yeah. Those are the guys that are with the big, like, expedition, those big 20, 24 inch single wide trails. Yeah, hell the yeah. Hogs. Super yeah, wise. That's yeah. what I want. That'd yeah, and they're just out there. Old, old man style. Breaking trail for everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Triple wide. That would be cool. I'm yeah, for just that. to 100%. go explore over there and yeah. just be on that side Do of the world. Do the whole trail so you did it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's uh like 3500 bucks to get into that that expedition class yeah that also 500 does, bucks covers your fuel oh and uh, your stay i think it's your fuel your lodging and i believe beers your food <laughs> at the <laughs> limitless <laughs> at the towns that they have okay. designated okay yeah. so you don't have to pack all that shit you don't yeah, have to drag a sled you couldn't pack enough i don't think yeah i don't think you can pack enough for a week on a snow machine? You just drag us. Oh, oh, yeah. Right? You could pack enough. Do I pack enough for t- two weeks in a backpack? Right? Yeah. Yeah, but I, mean, I, I eat two weeks salsa, worth of food in like hours. Yeah, salsa <laughs> freezes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah that, the bales of hay get heavy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Man, that'd be a lot of fun. So how many people do that? I wonder. I bet we should look that up. Right? I was looking yeah, on no. the website. I don't see it. Doesn't say the expedition. Let's I have a buddy that oh, wants to do go. it, so Yeah, here it is. Oh, oh you got the um, get the info? Yeah. I think it's under I th- I've seen I think it's under racer resources. Yeah, it is. There it is. Expedition class, third one. Oh, and they pick people by lottery. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So there's your deposit, fifteen hundred bucks. Which is refund. Forty racers. The non-competition trail ride that can be equally as tough and rewarding does not include the Red Dog Loop. That sounds fun. Yeah, that is cool. Great opportunity for outer state riders. Oh, so if you're out of state, you can come do it like a tourist deal? Yeah. Wow. So do they, like, provide the sleds for the out-of-staters? No, I think you have to. Yeah, rent or ship them up. Yeah. yeah, that if you scroll down that guy, that email address right there, 
mm-hmm. see right here from supplying you a snowmobile, planning oh, yeah. where to stay. Okay. Contact that dude right there mm-hmm. if you're an out of stater. Or I guess if you just yeah, don't have one period. Do, man. Yeah, that'd be way cool. Does it say how long it takes? Uh, There's like a banquet. I mean, what does the actual Iron Dog take? Actually, it took longer than I thought. You know, let's see. Frequently asked questions. Somebody got the answers. <laughs> there you go. Let's just ask them and go yeah. through it. Women's. How long? 100 miles apart. The longest is 120 miles spread. What do research pack? Uh, hmm. I want to say like uh, Bunny Isn't boots? it like a week? It's like a week it Took on a week a, for on, the On average like Yeah Yeah And they're fucking hauling ass yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I would think the expedition one What? How long that take then? 10 days? I hope they give a little more time but Yeah I think they give more cruise? time Because those, those machines aren't Aren't moving like those other ones are Yeah Tell you what In a year from now I'll come answer all these questions You'll have the answers? I do it Yeah Okay Nice Yeah we need the answers to Seems these questions really cool That'd be fun. It'd be really or, I mean, cool. you know, we get with uh, someone who's done it. Okay, so that was my point. We I was get coming with back to somebody it. No. that wants yeah, to. No, I know who. I know who we were just Yeah, to. yeah. Wants well, um, to sponsor. We get some well, AWP yeah, wrap yeah. sleds. Mm-hmm. There you go. Now we're talking. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was in communication with Brian um, from, you know, Brian from uh, uh, the sick photographer, does the glacier stuff. Military guy. Oh, um, Tyler. Um, yeah, I know who Brian, you're talking about. Tyler Bryan. Yeah, I know who you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he does the helicopter stuff. Yeah, right. Really sick. But we've been talking about doing a video with him. He's gonna come on probably one of the hunt, a hunt and come film. Be I've been cool. talking with him about it. But he kind of took our idea because when we had the Iron Dog Boys on, we we're saying this needs to be more like. Um, f- there needs to be more background and more character building. So like hype up the race. Like all yeah. you know is like they started and then they're like, they ended and yeah. then shit other than that. Right. And you could watch the dots move on the internet. And that's, it could be way yeah. better. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like do it where it's like F1 style where you have the, the racers and you kind of build the character and you kind of build up beforehand, the practicing, the drama of shit and then film d- during the race too. And so Tyler Bryan, I was talking with him about that he's like oh yeah that's i'm starting to get into that you know what i'm saying so he's gonna try to do a whole film of doing that and he's gonna do it with mike i was like oh yeah we just had mike on or whatever so he's one of the guys he's filming and gonna do like the whole trail and set it up for next year and do all the shit so that's nice. cool that someone's taking the Sorry. the reins awesome. on that because yeah. it could be way better and bigger and they should do the same for the iditarod because you don't know anything about the racers Unless you know them. Until they're in the paper. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm for some you. shit. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. We had Mike on um, our Awakening of Winter movie this year. Did a couple clips of him getting ready, getting the sleds ready. But yeah, it was cool to just get a little bit of that. And it's such a small piece because they do so much training and so much modification. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Totally. They're in the garage doing stuff. And it needs to be like those NHL, like pre. Pre-cup. Like road to the cup, yeah, kind or, of deal. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Road they, to the road to no road to the race or the you know, winter whatever. classic yeah, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, you're just more yeah. invested in it then too. A hundred percent, and it could even just be like a YouTube thing. But I would think that someone would pick it up, man. Yeah, Netflix, sure. ESPN. If it's filmed and done right, like why wouldn't they? They're all looking for content. Alaska you know, right? shows take yeah, they yeah. take 100%. over the TV, and yeah. that's just, real Alaska you know. content instead mm-hmm. of you know the fabricated stuff we see. But a that's lot. the thing, though, is they'll probably fabricate it. It'll be like out here on the race, you know, being make something bad happen. Oh, just the drama. Because, well, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, because yeah. we've had a couple of people from Alaska shows on Morgan and Ivy, you know, and very very sweet girls, and they. But we hear after the show, you know what I'm saying? Right. We're not recording yep. like the real deal. You know what right. I'm saying? Like we're not yeah. going to bust them out during the show. Everyone wants to hear it. But, you know, they let us know like, okay, this is what the real deal is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like those other dudes. And everybody knows it. It's not like yeah. everybody knows what was it. That show? Not out of staters, though. Yeah. They're blown away. Yeah, that's true. Which people? No. The dudes that were from the lower 48 from Oregon or Washington. The gold miners? Nope. Like the dude's name was Bear. Oh, it's the Alaska Bear Bush people. They Bush live people. in Homer. It's um, Jules' family, the singer. No, okay, so not them. Oh, well. the ones that were saying that they were out in the bush, 
But they got they, busted because they're getting filmed right here in Willow. Oh, uh, they're in Willow. <laughs> yes. It's pretty remote. Willow is the bush. Come on, <laughs> yeah. sir. Tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go yeah. knocking on any doors God, over there. What is their name? Sicily's Sisley, does not deliver. I don't have okay. no idea. Sicily's, there's no Sicily's out there? No, they don't deliver. So Where yeah. do you get a good pizza? Ronnie's. Ronnie's, Ronnie's Deli. Pizza? Ronnie's Deli? Yep. Right in the heart of Willow. Right in the heart of Willow. Where is that? Mm. In the gas station there? It's the building called the Heart of Willow. <laughs> <laughs> It's good though. Where is that? Uh, right next to the gas station. Oh, okay. like where the bank is. Right, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. Right, I mean, really, all Willow yeah, is yeah, is yeah, town site. Yeah. yeah, yeah right, okay. Yeah. You got a hockey rink though. Yeah. Yeah. People are on it quite a bit. Yeah. Hockey you see rink. That? They have like a, a like a covered court. one, mm-hmm. like Lake Otis Elementary. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty nice. That's cool. It is. Cool. Everything's right there. The school, the church, the library, Coffee and then shop. my house. If that's Sierra's <laughs> house. Yeah. Are you literally right there? Yeah. Close. Yep. Yeah. It's on the strip. <laughs> oh, the hospital. The gas mm-hmm. station, the pizza joint. Then you have Scott across the street who's doing uh, Willow. Air Park? No. Oh. The artist. Oh, that's Scott. I forgot yeah. his name uh, of his thing, but yeah. But then there's like billions of houses off into the branches. Right. Yeah. Surprising how many people live there or have yeah. cabins. Yeah, cabins. Okay, tell me this. Because I've never gone to the start of Willow. I've always had to work there. I did a rod. And this is the first year I haven't had a work day I did around in like 30 years. Um, and I've always wanted to go to the Willow Star, but where is the hot spot? And, but don't worry, by the time this comes out, it's over. So they don't the miss So if I'm lake. wrong, it's okay. No. No, uh, if people show up. Yeah. <laughs> that would right. be so Well, awesome. don't be wrong because I'm going to show up. <laughs> Pretty sure it's at the community center. That's like where everything happens in Willow. It's right on the lake there. Huge parking lot. It's all made for events. You can't miss it. Yeah. Okay. But there's not like another like cutout spot. Like this is where we park. There's like tons where of where spots. It's where like, can you go on your sled and ride out? I don't have a sled though. Oh, sad day. <laughs> you should get one and wrap it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what actually. I'm you know what? I, once I pay off the six by six, I am gonna get a sled. Hey, we can wrap that too. She can wrap that yeah. six by six. I'll be honest. I have not gone to the Iditarod start. I'm usually okay, out riding. So you don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I do, uh, since we're talking about raps, and my wife's like, I was like, who, she's like, who you have on? And I said, Sierra Winner, she does raps. She's like, like, yo, yo, yo? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. just like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. um, I want to get my snowblower wrapped, and okay. I want it to be a dragon, and I want the head to be the thing where ah, like the just snow's like coming out. out. Yeah. <laughs> the white snow, the white snow dragon. We could do that. On the Skyline Honda. signs, they'd get it done for me. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Let's do huh? it. That'd be what sick. do you think about that? That'd be rad. <sighs> <just see>. yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to it. Okay. Well, if homie doesn't get it, I'll get his his three hundred dollars off. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, while we're sitting here, you might as well just click on that button that says "Request a Quote." Yeah. Quote, go oh, and put just the info. Request, request a quote, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so those are for your custom ones. Yeah, so I primarily do custom right now. I'm working on getting some pre-built ones, but it's been kind of a lot to keep up with so far, so that's good. Yeah, that's super cool to be doing custom ones. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. People have some weird ideas. Yeah, there's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why you're looking over here. <laughs> uh, hide your aunties? Uh, yeah. <laughs> God, those are She's weird. Cute, though. <laughs> She's so hot. She did come on hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I didn't even know what all your logos were at first because we hadn't met, and so you just like had all these weird names: Fairbanks Fire, Arctic Heat, and I was like, "Man, what? There's a lot of logos. Like, what yeah. are you repping?" And then I put them on there without even knowing there were salsas until after the fact. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and "It was turned out that makes bomb. sense." You should put a picture <laughs> of that. Oh up yeah, there. we'll put a yeah. picture of that. Let me pull that up real quick. Yeah, put up, put up the one with his nice little pose. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> where's there. that is I that think on your it's page on her, did you put it on oh your, this is no. right here this is yo 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 right here yeah, look at yo yo go. tv oh, right i am a rapper <laughs> <laughs> it's on your page adrian uh, uh, i think i put it on my story so yeah it is oh on my God. it's on yours Ooh, i don't know if i posted that shame oh no you sent it to me though i sent it to you yes yeah. through text yeah you need me to send it to you on here i'll just i'll just airdrop it i got it here i think yeah, you did send it to me. I like the one um, with that. There's like a dude with, I think it's a red beard. It looks like Zeus with snow goggles. Yeah, that's the Awaken logo. Awaken? Yeah. 
Uh, he actually yeah, I think like, that was uh, on the original. I think you have one of just that one on here, don't you? It was on the main oh, page. Um, on her main website. Yeah. Or if I have a right Instagram right. for my art page too, not just my personal Instagram. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he was like one of my first digital designs when I first started transitioning into from physical paintings to this. And he was like, I just want this like cool Viking guy, but Alaskan. And I was yeah. like, okay, we got yeah. it. Yeah, I like his red eyes. You might have to resend it to me. It's dope. And then there. what's the Can't girl in it. the middle one? What's that? Um, she's very similar to the Hydrantes girl, but uh, she's, I don't know, just a bombshell. Can I you airdrop it? Does that that non-american phone do um bro airdrop or what this can't be talking bad Google shit guy? but then he'd be like damn your phone takes good ass pictures yeah right <laughs> well, you have to send it through I'm fucking no facebook yeah yeah do so it. it doesn't get distorted exactly exactly because yeah. your phone can't handle this mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay i was impressed by some of the pictures you sent i was like dang my Thank iphone you. ones are all blurry mm-hmm. is I'm that like, the one you want i didn't get it i sent it to, i didn't get it I said it. All right, let's take a quick break and we'll come back with the picture and come legit. Do I have to connect like a cord to it? No, you got it. Barney's Sports Chalet, supplying hunters and outdoor enthusiasts with the highest quality gear and equipment since they opened their doors in 1963. Barney's carries exclusive brands such as Alpaca Rafts, Sitka Sims, XO Mountain Gear, Hilleberg, and much more. Barney's prides themselves with keeping a huge stock on hand of various top-of-the-line tents, footwear, sleeping bags, optics, cross-country skis, just to name a few. Barney's is also the exclusive retailer of Montana Knives, Seek Outside, Kafaru, Stone Glacier, and their in-house brand, Frontier Gear of Alaska. Barney's has a superior selection of top-rated boots, sleeping bags, dry bags, mountaineering gear, electronics, and accessories. Need freeze-dried food or mountain snacks? They got that too. Barney's now has an amazing new paperback catalog available for in-store pickup or online order. Visit them today at barneysports.com or even better, stop by the store in Anchorage at 906 West Northern Lights. If you want the best, there's only one name in the game, Barney's Sports Chalet. Alaska Mining and Diving Supply, located in Anchorage for 47 years, has expanded three stores. The main store, the largest Skidoo sled dealer in North America, also has Can-Am, Sea-Doo, Climb, Suzuki Outboards, Honda Outboards, Generators and Snowboards, Kingfisher Boats, and so much more. Alaska Motorsports and Equipment just next door, which was previously Anchorage Suzuki Arctic Cat. For all your Arctic Cat, Suzuki ATV, Asvarna, Generac, Mahindra Tractor, and now Argo Pro and Sasquatch needs. And to round it out, also next door, the brand new Alaska Mining Superstore for the largest selection of recreational and light commercial mining equipment anywhere, period. The Alaska chapter of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. BHA is the voice of our Alaska public lands, waters, and wildlife. From national level policy work to engagement with boots on the ground projects from Kotzebue to Ketchikan. BHA performs public land cleanups, hunting and fishing clinics, and community education to help take your game to the next level. BHA's community-minded goal is to uphold our hunting and fishing legacy while keeping wild lands wild and fostering the next generation of sportsmen and women for years to come. Make sure to follow BHA Alaska for upcoming events, local brewery pint nights, and more. Stand up for Alaska public lands and waters by supporting the Alaska chapter of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers Join us today at backcountryhunters.org. The Treehouse AK, your one-stop dispensary located at 341 Boniface Parkway. When you pull up to the Treehouse, you'll notice the beautifully hand-drawn art by Alaska's own Ted Kim. Once you get inside, you're going to see many of the same people that have been there since they opened. The bud tenders know you and what you like and what new product you should be checking out. The store is super clean and the music's always on point. The Treehouse and local owner Josh Boots is a staple in the cannabis culture through his music, community givebacks, and a lifetime desire to bring the people of Alaska the best products available. The Treehouse always has at least 25 strains available, and they're all shown prominently deli style in clear, openable jars so you can see and smell your options. Other products include edibles, concentrates, vape carts, pre-rolls, flour, dab rigs, and anything else you need, they got it. They also have some pretty sick merchandise for sale. Check out thetreehouseak.com, or better yet, stop by the Treehouse today and get started on their loyalty program. 
Remember, you must be 21 years of age to enter their store, the treehouse where the culture lives. I'll get a GoPro in there. In your robe. Yeah, in my robe. Yeah, eat salad. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so of course the TV disconnected to this stupid thing, so we're going to have to look at your machine a little later. Mm. Um, but before we get into that, um, Arctic Man canceled, right? Right. Done? That suck. You've been going? Uh, I've been once, actually. You've been once? I'd never been. I always wanted to go because I was always going to the snowboarding thing. Yeah. Uh, or slush skiing. cupper. No, no, no that's the uh, trail. Um, Turn tra- again. Tailgate Alaska. Mm. Tailgate. Tailgate. Yeah. Tailgate. Yeah. 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 And then I never made it to Arctic Man. I was always going to tailgate, but I wanted to go to Arctic Man, and we had talked about right. going this year. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, it's canceled. Yeah. I heard tailgate might be a little weird this year, too. Like, Why? It's still happening at the time, but there may not be events the same. Um, or, huh. Yeah, I don't know. Something's going off. Weird. But the tried and true, the Valdez Hill Climbs, are, those are happening. Yeah, those are happening. Is I that in Thompson Pass? Yeah. Must be, right? Yeah. Are they still doing the world extremes up there too? I don't know. I don't know. Huh. It's only one way to find Why, out. Yeah. 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 That's what show I want to do again. You can pack up, roll out. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like to do the Arctic Man. I hasn't Arctic Man been canceled for like three or four years? It canceled for like two, it came back for one, and then it canceled again oh, due okay. to like permitting issues this year. Oh okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. I think it's time for a new winter event. I think so. Ooh. Yeah. What's your idea? Just something cool. Something accessible. I've got some um, conversations going on with Gunsight Mountain Lodge. Ooh. Okay. I feel like that's a nice location. Great location. Not yeah. necessarily close to the hills, but you could still do a lot of other things there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Absolutely. But, yeah. yeah. It's a good that's idea. Really I good. think there's, you're right, there's a lot of room for uh, events and things like that. Oh yeah. yeah. Need to yeah. bring Tons. something else back. I think the people doing all of the existing events are probably just tired, done. Yeah, yeah no. doing it year after year after year after year is just gets burdensome. Well yeah, I mean not only that, but bring in something new. Yeah. yeah. You know, you do the same thing over and over and over again. It gets you, old. Yeah, it gets old. And you gotta keep people's attention somehow. Yeah. So if you bring in a new event, no, I it, like it gives the people another option. You know, well, and all the events are very like. Don't get me wrong, partying is fun and whatnot, but they're very party focused. Yes. And somebody like always dies, and there's always bad things going on. So maybe starting something new that like is family friendly, and there's like a space for the party in at night. But well, make it's it not as fun. Yeah, no one yeah. dies. No one dies. It's no fun. No. It's, it's se- gonna die. It seems like the events are always funner on the upswing as it's starting too. You know. Yeah. Oh, like newer, like the momentum is yeah, building. Yeah, they're not too big yet. They're just kind of figuring stuff out, so it's kind of, kind of getting better each year. Yeah. yeah. You know? You yeah, like then the it hits that bit. plateau where everybody's into it. Yeah. And then, then that's it when the, too crowded. That's when the much. rowdiness kicks in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm going to go start something else. Watch this. Mm-hmm. They, we do need like an Alaska cross country ski plus other thing event like this, you know, like the Birkenbiner down in Wisconsin. That thing is it's yeah. Oh, yeah, you a winter that video. sport event that's yes. not one or the other that yeah. just gets us all together, kind of like tailgate. I mean, they they yeah. try to yeah. do it there. Yeah, auger drilling. Comps. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's lakes in Eureka too. We could have ice fishing over here. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just need it based in a town. I think that's where it's always like kind of gone wrong. Mm. You know, you know a town <laughs> around no. here? No, there's no town around here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right on that though. Yeah, it's like yeah, I was watching the videos from the Birkenbiner. They're like out there doing like this like big uh, long ski competition where it's like six different people oh, yeah. are on uh, right, cross country skis TV racing against each other we'll down the video. street. Right? You sent yeah, me the video, right? It's not in like a full blown Anchorage town. No, you know no, what I mean? not in Anchorage no. town. Just right, a small, right. like you know when they bypass Cooper Landing, that would be a good spot where you could put like snow on the road or whatever. You right. Know? Eureka Something area like would be fine. Too. Yeah. There's some yeah. A lot of flat. There's some lodging. You can always camp. There's always going to be snow. Yeah, yeah, because going out into the middle it's of not nowhere that far. makes it kind of difficult. 
Right, if you don't have a trailer and a winterized camping solution. Yeah, yeah. if you don't have an all seasons trailer, like you're, you're cold. like, dude, I'm not going out here. It's cold. It's and just then I be- got kids, a family, a it's wife. More family you know, you're like, yeah, yeah, nah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, people could drive back to Palmer, even like Sheep Mountain Lodge could probably open up in the oh, winter. Totally. Yeah. Go for Sheep north Mountain. Too. There's that other one across. Lake Louise isn't that far from there, really, once you're out that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does the um what was the place you said? Sheep Gun Mountain. Site. Gunsight Mountain, right? That's like a lodge too, right? Yeah, they just reopened, so yeah, I don't know I too much that. about it yet. But yeah, that's the one they should have lodge in there forever. Too. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it was nice. I'm, I'm surprised it took someone so long to buy it. Yeah, it's what a good it, spot. Yeah, it's right before one. Eureka. Yeah, yeah, that one. You have Sheep Mountain, and then there's that. Uh, out, is that there's Alpine, Alpine Wilderness? Yeah. Yep. Then they all have like groomed trails out there. Well, oh. even right past Eureka too. <laughs> close is that. Um, there's another lodge. Tazlina Road. Taz, mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. Even before the Glacier View area has a couple places yeah. too. And they're all closed in the winter. But, you know, if you did it right, open yeah. up for a long weekend. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, even Telgate and Arctic, man, there ain't no place to stay. Everyone's camping out yeah. there. Right. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah. And there's plenty of parking. That parking lot would be cracking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Eureka has all those campsites too. Mm-hmm. Like actual plug-in spots. So Eureka does? Yeah, the roadhouse. They have motorhome hookups right at the lodge. Really? Oh, mm-hmm. That's cool. In the back? Yep. I didn't know that. Yeah. And they have really good pie. Oh, yeah, yeah they do. Is that road <laughs> open down by the um the AT and T tower? Mm, There's a lot of camping question. down there. I don't Ooh. think it is, but Snowcat Services of Alaska could open. There you it. go. Oh, there you, there go. you go. Snowcat Services of Alaska. Planning. I want to ride on one of those. I, I did come today. It was great. I want to come on a ride. Very slow. Nice mock <laughs> yeah, speed of eight miles an hour. I would hour. like yeah, to do that same thing because I've been in the snow cats that are used to groom, like when they're doing uh, mountain stuff, sled yeah. hills, right? Not sled hill, but ski slopes. Mm-hmm. That I don't want to do that. But you're in like it's the same sort of machine. Yeah, but that Joker's on steroids, man. What theirs? Some of them, not the yeah. one I'm driving. I got oh. the janky one that was going to be a parts machine, but they're like, eh, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Some of the ones you have in the lot are like. They're pretty nice. I'm like, yo, you drive that big old thing. Oh, they're massive, yeah. though. Like Bryce says he can control like with this, and he doesn't have to use his feet. He's just all relaxed, and mine's like going to be like, yeah. you know, cocked to the side a little bit the whole time. But So what's the connection <laughs> there? Fill the gap for me. Uh, Bryce is my boyfriend. And Bryce is who? Bryce owns Snowcat Services of Alaska. Okay. Um, and so he, uh, Shane works for him, and Shane has his fishing company in the that's summer. That's Shane's own thing. Yeah, but that's his brother He works for him in the wintertime. That's yeah. his brother-in-law. Yeah, he married Bryce's twin sister. <sighs> This is some willow and we shit. All live in, yeah, <laughs> no, and we all live in the same yard, too. <laughs> yep. Okay, so who owned that camping spot where all the bunnies were, where you could camp and fish right there, willow? That's where, that's where it's all based out of, yeah. So who's the old man there? That's his dad, Farley. Okay. Yep. That dude is a riot. Yeah, he really He would is. give you rides. You ever have him give you a ride oh, uh, when you're going to oh, do the float? float? Yep. And you do the float, and he's like, I don't normally do this anymore. And he's just talking the whole way, dude, telling you all the history and all this shit. It was hilarious. Yeah, he's a hoot and a half. They're there, too, as well. Okay. We're all on the same lot. Okay. So they just pretty much got done just over it, and like, we're just going to just not do this anymore. Yep. They've, I think it's been like 30 years or something like that, mm. and they're just ready to spend time with grandkids and not have to do snow cats all winter and then that all summer. Yeah. We turned the campground into a little go-kart track for the kids. So. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. That's People awesome. were upset about it, but. Well, guess. yeah, that was a great, great yeah, spot. it was. Yeah. It was a great spot for camping, but at the same time, like. The mosquitoes are pretty horrendous. Yeah. They but were it was a great spot. Yeah. But good for them, though. They're like, yeah, we're going to take what yeah. we have mm-hmm. and put the rope across the driveway. Yeah. yeah. That thing was so here. annoying, though. You got to unhook it, yeah. drive out, hook it back up. Everyone hates the rope. But they're like, <laughs> hey, we're going to shut this down in. We have all this land. We're going to enjoy it with our family. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good like for you them, said, man. grandkids are out there just roaming around, ripping Brodies in their go karts. Yeah. You know, like that's great. It's cool. There's a lot of cousins on the property, and we have a little playgrounds. So we'll just like boot them out of the house all day, and that's how it should be. Yes, playing outside. So, what is Bryce um, snow catting? Um, right now, he's freighting for a lodge that's being built out there. So, okay. just like all of their supplies, lumber, snow machines, whatever the customers want. Gotcha. Now, is there other jobs that are on top of that? Like, is there a road he's doing consistently? Um, historically, he did for Whiskey Bravo, um, okay. mining out there. Okay. Uh, but they took a year off, and so he's doing another job this year. And he does some smaller cabin packages, too, but tries to do, like, one 
big job a season. What do you mean cabin packages? Like if somebody just buys some remote property and they want all their lumber hauled out. Oh, good to know. Yeah. And then he's building the ice road too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And where's the ice road? Uh, it leaves right from our place in Willow and then goes out to whatever his destinations are. Usually goes close to Squintna, but not to the town and then beyond. But who's the ice roads for? The people that live out there? Uh, his company, or I mean his clients, where he's bringing the things to. And okay, then gotcha. Inevitably, everybody just uses it for snow machining because it's really nice and groomed and like super wide. Oh, and, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, so he's building ice roads for himself right. to yeah. haul gear. He's not necessarily building community okay, gotcha. you know, navigational sure, roads, yeah. but... It, like you said, everybody ends up like the Iron Dog redirected this year to use ours because of some overflow. They called them up and they're like, "Help, SOS." Gotcha. So no, gotcha. Nice. So who is taking a break? The mining company that yeah. he was doing it for. Okay. Yeah, they took a year off from having freight hauled, and then next year he'll be doing that again, most likely. But oh, where okay. are they out of? A Whiskey Bravo. It's like 128 miles west. I don't really know the mountain range they're in. Nova Minerals. Mm. Okay. Good. Sweet. To know. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I wonder how thick it has to be for those snow cats. Got the wrong person on yeah. the podcast. I'll tell yeah. you in a week, though. Yeah. Have you guys, <laughs> has he dropped one through the ice? Um, I don't know if I should comment on yeah. all those all situations. Right. I don't sure. really know. Yeah. How many are there out there? Yeah, he has too many. I don't know. There's a bunch, right? Yeah. Are they all working or some are just Some like are parts sh- cats. Yeah, okay. he'll buy some from the state stall up just because there's nowhere to get parts. So having an extra yeah. one on the lot when you need a piece is really helpful. Markham and his dad just bought it one and got it out to their cabin. They had to build up the ice road to get across. And Super cool machines. some struggles. Yeah, I bet. That's, that's not yeah. easy. Not for everybody. I mean, he has a whole crew out there, and you know, if somebody gets in a pickle, they can wrench up and haul each other out. So if you're just That's hauling awesome. one out there, like, yeah, got to haul snowcat services, I guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I bet Lots they do of kick off for a lot of save, <laughs> saves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Save there's a couple, me. but wow, it's cool. That's a cool yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, it's way cool. Yeah. Hopefully, they don't have to save me this week. <laughs> no, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, okay, let's talk about this wrap here on um, the mayor's. When I look at it, I want to do like on the mayor's that thing. Like I've been oh. watching that food. Oh yeah, you've been watching that. <laughs> yeah. You like that? Yeah. Okay. I, and w- <laughs> I do like that you left the um, windshield on there because that is extra old manish, and I like old man stuff. Yeah, that's how you know. That's how you know. Look, look. look I'm surprised look, not look. tinted like your truck in the front. Don't uh. <laughs> Ooh, don't let that f- flames on the windshield. Yeah, don't let that windshield fool you. You don't have those like handlebar mittens. No, nah, no, nah, those are nice though. Ooh, like what they put on uh-uh. the on the fat tire bikes. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, yeah. why wouldn't you have those? Keep your yeah. hands nice and warm. Are, uh, heated handlebar. And not on the outside of your gloves. It's not. I feel it right up in there. So you could have those, and then you don't need the heated. I don't right? because uh, you have a heated seat. No, I don't sit down. You don't sit down? I got a no, video of this really. guy catwalking that thing. Really? Oh, really? You know how to ride real good? Does he know how to ride? I know you know how to ride real good. Little I saw bit you catwalking. She, she's like, she's heavy, man. She don't, <laughs> yeah. Hey, your skis were up. Your skis she don't were like up. to get her front end up there. Uh, she's Yeah, I tried to ride that thing. Up. It was hard. No, don't let the Yami fool you, man. That joker got power for days. I, I told you I grew up riding the VMAX. Yeah. I know. That thing's a boat. Yeah. But it can go fast. That's what. Faster that's why I got go. the windshield. Yeah. I got to keep that wind off of me. Just yeah. don't stop. Yeah, just don't stop. Okay, so hide your aunties. Yep. Small batch salsa. Arctic key, the mayor. So you have all the salsas on there? All the salsas. All the salsas. Alaska Wild Project. Yep. Sierra's on there. I'm on there. Okay. Oh, yeah, right there. And on the other side, you can't see it yeah, for the get people one listening. Picture of that. Let's see this. The other side is gold, and it says North Slope Gold. Yeah, and it's got blue trees, a little yeah. this and that. Yeah. It what was fun. The, what do you mean the other side's gold? Like uh, it's painted gold? No, like the trees in the back where it says Rolling Smoke, the other side's gold trees with the North oh, Slope Gold. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Hi- Hydrianti's the same. Turned out good. Yeah, yeah. it turned out real good. Yeah. I'm glad you like it because I didn't know anything about you when I was making it. So it's bomb. <laughs> From when you went and clicked the link, like I'm interested, and you started the design, how long did it take until it was done? We went back and forth for a little while. I feel like yeah. it took longer than I wanted it to, but you were also giving me too much freedom. You're like, take your time, do whatever you want. And so, I did tell her, like, I don't care. Like, you got free reign. Yeah. Because I've always, like, enjoyed. 
or been in awe of what she can do. Because let's let's keep it real. Call a spade a spade. I don't think anybody here at this table outside of her can design. Oh, she, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that shit is sick. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> do you prefer that? When someone's like, hey, just do what you want. And, but th- I want these elements, or do you prefer like a little bit of like I want some of this? Yeah, in there. a little a bit little of direction? guidance is nice because otherwise I put in all this work and they're like, nah, uh, not that though. And I'm yeah, like, well, uh, you get two more drafts. So. Gotcha. Um, like you gave me some guidance. It was pretty basic, but I gave her a little bit of guidance, and like you said, it's very basic. But in reality, like I've always enjoyed the work that she does. So I'm like, I don't whatever you're gonna do. Yeah. I know I'm gonna like it. So just yeah. like his only roll role. with it. Your only rule was I want these logos included. I always try to include the yes. base wrap of the the sleds color too because it's okay. gonna show through. Okay, I was gonna ask that. Yeah. Is that so that it'll always peek through the cracks of the vinyls and whatnot. So I always try to incorporate it so it just blends a little better. So that's why we went with the blue. But did you choose the coloring? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Full American. She chose it. And I was <laughs> just like red, white, and blue. I like. Oh, you did that. Mm. I'm like, yeah, print it. So the ba- the base model is blue. Yes. Yeah, the okay. plastics. Yeah. That's really important when designing a wrap because some people are like, I have an orange sled and I hate it. And I'm like, well, there's going to be orange. Yeah. So let's figure out a way to make you like orange instead. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. So I need to make a red dragon. No, red and white. We can for make the it work. Blower. It'll show, but it'll work. Okay. We'll red, have like red, red coming white. through its veins or yeah, something. Red features on a white. A little, little bit, bit of blue. Be good. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. America. Could yeah. have white Blowing scales snow. with some red in between, like smog. Ooh, yeah. I just watched The Hobbit, so I'm ready. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it Lots right now. Lots of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, well, that came out really good. Okay, so you, did you say before you've done 60? I think I'm close to pushing 60. It's somewhere in the late 50s. Wow, that's yeah. a lot. Do you have a favorite one? <laughs> Don't I say this, guys, either, yeah. please. Um, honestly, I think I, my favorite is Dee Dee Jean Rose right now. Oh, the um, pink one? Yeah. Oh, Hers man. is so cool. And it she is. also is just like, I just want my dogs on there. Otherwise, oh, and pink, but go for it. Oh, um, yeah. Let's pull that up. And I actually did one for her like almost a year ago when I was first starting out. And so my process changed tremendously. And then she was like, hey, my sled's too slow for the iron dog. I need a new wrap for this other sled. And we had like two days to get it done too. Um, so I just like whipped it out, loved it. I think it's better than her first one. I mean, she's partial to both, of course, but. Yeah, you got to bring this I think up. it's on your other page, right? Yeah, artwork by Sierra Winter. Sierra Winter Fitness is dead. I don't do that anymore. Is this Sierra think. official ask of you, too? No. That's no. Not, that's she fun. seems cool, though. I, was cre- yeah. I creeped on her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we go to that, though, let's, <laughs> my guy, dude. Dang. Look at my guy. I went full hussy. Yeah. 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 Make sure y'all tune in and watch this, boy. Yeah. <laughs> what I, is it? What do you mean? Is it a video? No, I'm talking about the oh, listeners. Oh, people on the yeah. listeners? Yeah. Okay. Well, don't, li- don't, don't watch it too much because, yeah. man, I... Okay, right now we're at minute aunties. 52 of the podcast. Pause. Go to YouTube. Log in. Alaska Wild Project. Subscribe. Subscribe. And then you can see my man going full hussy. Damn, they going to blow my DMs up, man. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Like, oh, man. I got You're enough s- arms. F- are you single right now? All ladies. the aunties huh? out there calling single? all the aunties? Yeah. Oh, single as can be. <laughs> <laughs> We need all the <laughs> Not listeners after this to photo. subscribe. <laughs> Dang. And you got the tight grays on. Ooh. Ooh. I see you, That's these grays right you. here, baby. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think I got like six pairs of them there. With the hot heat coming behind? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> uh, so when's the next um, Awaken? Are they filming now for the next? Yeah, we're making content right now, coming up with a storyline a little bit. Um, All season, we just have like a shared album where everyone in our group takes videos, puts it in there. and um, Part of this will be included, of course. And then we always try to do our premiere in October, November, kind of awakening everybody, getting them excited for winter. Uh, Josiah wants to get more snowboarding and skiers involved, too, to make it more bigger, better. Yeah. Bigger, better, better, bigger, bottom, better, borrow. Hey, 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 this Remember is that? my rap. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> so this yo, is, yo, yo. This is this her second Didi's, right? one? Yeah. So okay. this is her second one. Um, her second rap? Yes. I don't have pictures of her first one, unfortunately. Um, we were going to do a photo shoot, but she's also a busy lady. But yeah, those are her dogs. That little fluffy one's name is Pikachu. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just really cool. I actually got to work with Team CC and her directly and just, you know, I think we got it 
from drawing to at our doorstep within like four or five days. Oh, really? In, in reality, oh. yeah, because we had to rush. And uh, we printed through Arctic FX on this one, and their turnaround time is top Okay, notch. I was going to go there. So what are you designing on? Like, what do I do the design on? Yeah. I do Adobe Illustrator. You do Adobe Illustrator? Yep. Oh, I yeah. need some lessons. I do too, but, you know, I learn as I go. <laughs> man, <laughs> someone out there, man, please holler at me. I'm trying to learn how to do this. I have it, but it's very daunting. Yeah, there's there's so many videos out there too. Like I just always try to watch one thing a week and yeah. pr practice that that week and yeah. try something new. Mm, good strategy. What so do do, do all do all the manufacturers give you like the specs on how big the cowlings are and all that for you? Um, so for my first year, I, Deviant Inc. reached out to me and was like, "Hey, your wrap was sweet. We like your color contrast. Do you want to try to design with us?" And I was like, "Oh my gosh, let me just faint for a second, sure." Um, and so for them, I just started doing like I'd take a side profile picture of their sled and kind of mock it out a little bit uh -huh. and be like, "This is kind of what it's going to look like." But when I submit the files, Deviant Inc. would send it back on the template. Mm -hmm. um, and then fast forward arctic fx reached out and said hey that stuff's cool you want to design for us too and i was like wow this is great um and i had a meeting with them and they decided to just give me the templates right out the bat so oh. i just say hey i got an order for this sled make and model and then they send me the adobe file i draw it in there send it to them and it's good to go and it really like saves a lot of steps too because it's just ready to print at that point that's awesome yeah and then who so they print it and then who puts it on um, it depends. You can try yourself. I did one this year. It took me <sighs> seven Yikes. hours, but because um, every little piece is separate, right? Yeah, there's so many different pieces, and yeah. the little ones are easy. It's the big pieces you gotta mm. try to get on because once it sticks, it's really hard. But yeah. um, if you're not a do-it-yourself kind of person, I send everyone to Anchor Yamaha Polaris. And they do a great okay. job. They're, okay. They oh, do so shout many out to the homie over yeah. there. Yep. Jo no one's doing Josh the and Drew. either. Um, I haven't had any feedback from them yet. Um, I know that A2D does it as well. Okay. Um, but really other I than that. I think everyone should be on it. Step up, boys. Yeah. yeah. I might consider offering it down the road because we have the shop space and whatnot, but I don't want to take away my time mm, from drawing. So right. I'm kind of, I'm gotcha. debating it. Gotcha. And, and so who would be full, full package then? It would though. Yeah, yeah. You could just bring your sled to me and pick it up later, ready to ride or just ride because so, you're in Willow. So we, what, who are you designing for? I, I'm missing something here. I, so, it's my business is uh -huh. artwork by Sierra Winter. So that's independent. Um, but I have contracts with Deviant Inc. and Arctic FX to print and use their templates and whatnot. And so they print and deliver. Oh, okay. Um, I also use Skyline Signs. He, I primarily use him for all my other things that I need to wrap other than sleds. But he also does sled wraps. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So some people will go to them and be like, I want my sled wrapped. And then they'll contract you out yes. oh, okay. to do the design. Or yeah. they'll come to me directly and then I say, hey, I need this, this wrap. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. And then they're getting the templates from the manufacturers. Yeah, or they might be making, making them too. Them. Somebody's yeah. out there that's smart, Measuring smarter than me. <laughs> yeah. So how are we going to get the Honda template? I'll get it. I'll find it. Actually, if anybody in the world has a Snowhawk template, I really need one of those. Okay, shout out right now. Yeah. We need the Honda. And I got to look. This is bad boys. I'm old sure too. there's a way. I'm yeah. Sure, I'm sure there's a way. Yeah. You don't want me out there measuring. Well, I mean, that's really what it comes down to is just like measuring every section and piece and then drawing it out on Adobe. So <laughs> I would like pot news back out. Uh, yeah, I want to. C squared. C squared. <laughs> C squared. I don't know. Uh, I'll subcontract that part out. That does not sound fun. <laughs> you probably download uh, download an app for that, man. Yeah, let's ask AI. Just take a picture and yeah. it just does yeah. it, right? Yeah. yeah. You probably like put a little ruler on it and it's. Yeah. You know who sells Hondas? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you're right. Yeah, the home, the sponsors. Yep, just go drop it off with them. I, I, yeah, actually, and I want them to do it too. They need someone who can wrap the shit over there. She'll yeah. design it. Hey, I got this wrap here installed. All right, Nick. Yeah, hope you're listening. Yeah, we got some plans. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to roll up on you again at the popcorn store. <laughs> at the popcorn store? Is that in Willow? No, Eagle River. <laughs> <laughs> Nick didn't know I know who Nick is, and I was uh, I rolled into. The popcorn store. There's there. a popcorn store. Oh, like that's it. That's all you get there. Oh, oh Is this different yeah. flavor of popcorn. Yeah, they make it there. Bomb, bomb, sweet. And uh, Nick was in there, and I I know who he is. I know it because we deal with him for work. And uh, I was like in my work clothes, and I was like, oh, Nick. Uh, what's his last name again? Uh, Olsenek. Yeah, I was like, oh, Nick Olsenek. And he looks at me, and then he looks at my shirt, and he's like, 
uh, you know me? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what's up, Nick? And then I just kept walking. Mm. And he was just like, uh oh. Just like, oh. He's just oh, hiding his oh, ants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's hiding his yeah, ants. I just rolled out, man. Just, like, just went yeah. to the back. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Megan said, up all my ants. Yep. She's <laughs> out here. He's out here at the Elpha store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Nick, we need you to wrap that uh, snowblower. Yeah. I'll have to come see you again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you do other than that? Um, I work for Sunshine Community Health Center. Okay. And I am the president of the Northern Valley Health Coalition, which is a nonprofit. Um, really, it's a partner of Sunshine Clinic because as a federally qualified health center, we can only do so much within HRSA regulations. And so the nonprofit we started is to help do things that also benefit your health. Like we're, we're going after a community garden grant right now to help address food insecurities and stuff. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah. Very different hats, but. Yeah. I like it. Um, can we pull up your 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 sled real quick? Because yeah. you did your own, right? Yep. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, nah, I got it from somebody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this it? Yes. Oh, Shoot. this is a this is a new new hot boy. Yep, that's a twenty four Polaris Boosty Babe. I love her very much. <laughs> She's missing a side panel. Unfortunately, it flew off uh, on Friday when I was driving into town and it got <laughs> oh, ran over. Oh <laughs> no. But my twenty two side panels fit, so she's just a little Frankenstein sled right now. Looks cool. Yeah. Was the base color to that teal? No, my base uh, is black, so you can see kind of oh, the cracks okay. there. Yeah. That's where it shows. Gotcha. But yeah, this year I decided to include some elements from my original wrap, which would be the angler fish with the little spark plug, and then the octopus mm. with the turbo in it. Oh yeah. Um, and then I also have some of my clients' designs in there as well. So the awaken logo, he's hard to see, but he's at the end there, and then this little skull guy underneath is a different customer's. But yeah, I love her. Yeah. It's a, it's hard to see in photo, but it's chrome matte, so it's like shiny, but like not too oh, shiny. Okay. It looks pretty good in the sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you did your um. Your sled bed, is that? Oh, here you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the rails. Little matchy matchy. Oh, you can kind of see the shine there in this picture. A little bit of it. When I saw that, I had the idea of doing the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Sierra doesn't know, but I guess I'll tell her now. She's gonna do a wrap for the camper. So okay. Oh, full oh, camper that'd wrap. Be cool. I yeah. Have, I have a couple camper. people that have inquired, so you should you should be the first. God, we have a, such a long list already. I know. I, don't, I got like it just a whole folder for you. <laughs> yeah. So have you done other wraps other than? Um, primarily sleds, but I've done a forerunner and I've done some airplane skis. Um, and then I have a lot of inquiries coming in for side-by-sides and whatnot. But I think people mm. are just kind of waiting to commit because summer's not here yet. Yeah. It's kind of hard to switch our brains and our seasons. And they get so muddy. Yeah. You know? Oh, That's for the true, For the machines? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, because right away I was like, oh, we should do our six by sixes together. But then I was like, oh, shit, as soon as I get on the trail, it's dirty as fuck. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, when you take the wrap versus the regular OEM plastics, it's take the plastics like fresh off of the, um, when you pick it up from the, from the dealer, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as you get it dirty, those plastics are like stained. They yeah, are, and they get scratched up and, scratched. and stuff. They're yeah. ruined, right? Yeah. They yeah. don't look, the black isn't black anymore. No, right. it's all right. scratched mm -hmm. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the or, vinyls protect that. Yeah, yeah. whereas oh, you put the cool. wrap on there. So it'll hold up. I mean, wash mud right and off. spraying, yeah. Mountain View mm -hmm. car wash, and all that stuff. and stuff. Oh. Another benefit, too, is like if you get a custom wrap, that's more insurance because that's yours. You're yeah. the only one with that design. Oh, that's And it's not like it's quick to rip those vinyls off. It's a pain to get them off, so... Yeah. 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 Just have your See phone number saying? on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you find a good idea. Call Jack. Downfall of this, though, is I keep getting stopped in traffic at lights, and people are like, "Hey," and I'm like, "Oh, hey." Uh, I need you to find <laughs> up that for me. Oh well, you didn't wrap your info on there. Yeah, you um, needed the email on there. You can't see my truck, but it's a POS, so I'm gonna wait till the next one until I put all the info on there. Unwrap the truck. Yeah, and the bed. My truck. I have a four thousand dollar truck with fifty thousand dollar sleds on top, mm. but <laughs> it's fine. It gets priorities. me places. You got your priorities straight. Yeah, right. I paid to wrap the sled bed, but my windows cracked from one side to the other. I'm like that's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's so Willa. It, this <laughs> this is always like uh, since I since we've been like talking and whatnot, but I've always thought about putting the sled deck on the truck. On yours? Yeah. Oh, Isn't no. yours, can't you put a sled on that? That yeah, I heavy can. ass thing you got on there? Yeah. Diamond or what? But, I mean, those cars are going to tear up that. 
that Hold cover. The lining. Yeah. Oh, the tonic cover? Yeah. Well, we'll turn it Because it's designed oh, the, for all oh, the, oh, the four wheelers and ATVs because they're, they're tires. On top of it? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah. You could get just the, the tracks that are on like my sled deck. Yeah, but then I got to screw them up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But that right there is I easy see free that. advertising. Oh, I could yeah. see you with that. Yeah. That's why I had my sleds on until like June last year. People are like, where are you going? I'm like, oh, I'm just showing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at how good it looks. Yeah. Why not? She pretty. So what'd you do on the Forerunner? Oh, let's pull it up. Oh, yeah, that should be on there. Um, it might be a ways back on my Instagram, but it's on my website. Other way. No, uh, you have it on here. I think I saw it. Yeah, it's further down. Oh, okay, there so is. there's a picture of the... Yeah, that's like how the, I design um, it. Wow. That one looks good. That turned out great. So what, you got to do like each individual little piece when you're designing? Or you like one whole picture and then adapt it to it? Yeah, so I, ju- I draw the design and then I can place it. Um, basically, it's like a mask layer that's cutting okay. out the shape. So I put okay. it where it needs to go underneath that. But this we uh, did through Skyline Signs. He did a great job. Actually, this uh, person contacted me at the Mermaid Festival, and I didn't hear for her from her for like six months. And then she's like, okay, I'm ready. And I was like, oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Um, and she does stained glass, so we tried to do the designs kind of in that style a little yeah. bit to represent her stuff. That came out awesome. Yeah. I really oh, like yes. it. It looks good. Yeah. yeah. Very vibrant. I haven't seen it in person yet. That's one downfall of not applying the wraps is that yeah. all the projects are done and off in the world. But Yeah. I like that little layer of the animals right under the window. Yeah, those are actually stickers she was collecting before, oh, which okay. kind of inspired her okay. to get the full wrap well actually that's just a partial wrap too for anyone interested you don't know oh, those that. are still the stickers yeah okay you okay. just did the from the bottom up yep okay. okay so i mean it gets pretty expensive to wrap a whole vehicle and she's like i don't really have that budget but we did oh, that you for could about just do half a portion. the price yep just yeah. a section uh, oh you know had something like Haley had that on the front on just her hood she had the top oh yeah thing. yeah that was cool looking well yeah and if you do it right like this, and you incorporate, like she was saying, the color of the actual vehicle. Mm, yeah. yeah. You yep. save, you know, well, what's thousands cool is that of it's, dollars. It's artistic, and it's not like, you know, so-and-so chiropractor. Yeah. Not you right. Know, right. Or, or oh, whatever. Totally. You yeah. Know? And yeah. she's she's not a business at all. She just wanted some art. Wanted art. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. I'd love to do more vehicles down the road. <laughs> Are you going to convince old Bryce to wrap the uh, smoke? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we've talked about it a little bit. We've got vinyls on there for now, but um, one, I got to build a template, and two, figure out how much vinyl that's going to take. They're pretty big machines, so yeah. it'd be expensive. But What do you mean we have vinyls on it? Like stickers? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we, I made his logo, and we got some big stickers on there, and okay. his dad drives one called a Tinkerbell because she's yellow and sparkly, so we snuck a really like sexy Tinkerbell drawing on there when he wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do one that's like um, like shiny... Mm-hmm. Is that shine going to s- stay? Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, so the main, for sleds at least, the main overlays we have are gloss, matte, um, and then there's like chrome and holographic. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, my 22 sled is beat up. Like I definitely run over some trees and stumps and whatnot, and she's still really pretty and shiny. Okay. I wonder about that. Because thinking about the six by six, mm-hmm. like branches and yeah. shit like that, like it's not going to tear through that. Mm-mm. I mean, like, sure, I mean, obviously, maybe, if it's like a, but yeah, no, it holds up pretty good. I like the bottom of mine. I expected the whole bottom half of my wrap to be torn up, and there's like maybe one little tear. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they're pretty now strong. when you when they put the wrap on, or when you give them the pieces, like for example, this one on the truck, is that whole door panel one thing, or is that whole side one piece, and they're just like perfectly laying it? Um, you know, I actually don't know. I believe that this is cut into sections, but when we plan out designs, um, we quote by the size because the vinyl prints in like one sheet, like this table. And so if okay. I design something that's a little bit bigger, that customer now has to pay for both of these sheets instead of just one. And so I always try to like do it within the specs of one just cause I don't know. Okay. So Lucas did this, right? Yeah. So 907 or Skyline. Skyline Signs. Signs did this. Yeah. And he did the sticker on the back of the truck. Okay. On the window. Okay. So, and when I went in there, I'm willing to bet you that that's one piece. Yeah. And the reason I say that is in his shop, he has got the biggest printers I've ever seen in my life. Mm. And they just print out these massive 
like long sheets of so he probably did yeah. like this the box truck wraps when know? i went yeah. in he was he does the, yeah he was in the middle of uh putting a wrap on a local company's vehicle uh when i went in there and it was one solid piece and he was going through with like a razor or an exacto mm, knife and cutting, cutting out. out like where the door opens and closes. Mm. Oh, okay, so put it and on and then cut the, the pieces that need to bend. Yeah, yeah and then it folded on the inside. Oh, this is why I contract that out. That sounds so tedious. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> yeah, you had to be draw. OCD on that yeah. too. Yeah. What's the trick to not get air bubbles in there? Squeegee, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Beyond, beyond me. I mean, with the wraps, we just squeegee them out. Yeah, we have. yeah. I think squeegee and heat. Mm-hmm. Heat because oh, you don't um. Well, I think with these, you don't get them wet. They don't wet stick, right? Not the sled wraps. Um, and, and you know what? He did actually, I asked for another customer um, some feedback. for th- They wanted to do it themselves, and he did give a video that had the wet oh, process. Okay. So gotcha. I'm not sure what he does exactly, but I think that's an option on there. So the sled ones are, are 100, are like Yeah, they, you just stick. put them on. Yeah. Got it. Try, I did it like 12 times on one piece, and it was still really <laughs> sticky. I was like, okay, that's got to be the last try. No. <laughs> Looks good enough. <laughs> Uh, what about yeah. smaller stuff like a bow or a rifle? Probably. Um, Skyline Science, Lucas is my go-to guy for all the weird questions. Like, oh. we just did some datum skis for uh, a backcountry um, push. I don't know what the plane was, honestly. But um, afterwards, he was like, man, that was tedious, but we got it done. Yeah. But it's just a matter of just mapping out, like, what shapes you need to print on. Got it. Yeah. I'm down to oh. try. Yeah, that opens a lot of ideas. Yeah. So what... uh. Not to change the course or the subject, no, go ahead. but well, I mean, what what got you into doing this? Because before you were doing Health. regular, just art, like, like in general, like design work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, my family's just like full of artists all the time. Um, my grandpa used to build totem poles. My grandma's paintings were like phenomenal. Like she could just paint you exactly as you looked. Um, and so, growing up in the bush with my dad kind of isolating <laughs> um so i just rode snow machines and drew and painted and whatnot um so my business has been alive since like 2012 but i went through a phase of doing painting and then i did crochet hats and then i did like upcycled jewelry and just like knew that i wanted to create but then the more that i got into sleds and uh writing and whatnot i was like man how cool would it be if i could just have my drawings on my sled yeah and then i decided to spend the money to do my own with deviant ink and it kind of just naturally happened after that people were like oh your rap was really cool can you make a logo and i was like well i probably yeah. i think so and your art is um unique yeah like when you look at your artwork that you like to do as i was looking at your page and stuff um, let me actually pull up some of that. It's very, um, man, I was trying to think of like how to describe it. I won't be offended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, do you know, it was, it was, it is as if the bad octopus lady in The Little Mermaid was an artist. Ursula. Yeah. I actually have an Ursula sled wrap inquiry. That's here what right it now. just like reminds yeah. me of, like just like wicked. I, I, yeah, yeah, like wicked, and you have a lot of like skull stuff. And yeah, so I uh, ask most of my customers. Um, they'll I have my basic questions on my reform or whatnot, and then after I start talking with them, I'm like, okay, on a scale of one to ten, how spooky can I go? And that's one of my common questions because nice. that's like my favorite. How spooky can I go? Yep, got like a that. couple couple tens. That's always fun. Who that stash? Yeah, she's yeah. Cute. Trying to find some of the like <laughs> skull stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's a good page. Have yeah. you done like a uh, Halloween themed one? Ooh, yeah, I have. Um, Dang, what's this? Platinum Jacks O two. Oh snap! I gotcha. Okay. I did a uh, Jack and Sally wrap. Jack's on one side, Sally's on the other, and then the Oogie Boogie Man's on the tunnel. That was kind of fun. Yeah. And it was for um, Red Run Cannabis Company, one of their okay. their employees. So there's like purple pot leaves all over the place too. Yeah, you have a, like a unique style. Thanks. That's, I mean, I should write it's custom art. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the the Sally one right there. This one. Yeah, I don't know if I have both. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you heard of the Freaky Deaky Pod? Uh uh-uh. uh Should I? Yeah. Okay. Freaky Deaky podcast for, from Wasilla. Okay. 
they do all paranormal stuff and crazy their show's really cool here give her a sticker oh yeah there's a sticker right there yeah <laughs> sweet yeah. <laughs> they kind of reminds me of it yeah, you know yeah. I'm saying? like their style like we those guys vibe. style yeah and um homies his he does like all the stickers and all that stuff it's cool nice and their podcast great if anyone and we had him on the show i don't remember what number it was that was an excellent show probably yeah. one of my favorite shows it was ever so done fun. look it up yeah it was really good um so what so when you're not riding in the in the summertime what are you doing in, i mean in the winter time what are you doing in the summer yeah um i mean you scrolled through a summer section there i tried to dabble with photography this year um just to try to stay creative during the summer um hopefully i will continue to draw and whatnot if people start wrapping their summer toys but really like hiking um bryce is a backcountry pilot so been doing a lot of that the last couple of summers he's got a r44 Um, yeah mostly just hanging out you have atv I don't know. I tried to ride a dirt bike for a season. I got like, I almost broke my arm. I had this hematoma that like grew out to oh, here. It yeah. was nasty. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> and I, I think I had it. And then that same day I was like, you know what? No, I can do it. And my ex-husband at the time just like never been on a dirt bike really. And he just sent it. And I was like, I can do that, man. I'm getting all salty <laughs> about it. And after my hematoma, I was all bandaged up. I tried to do something and I like TMI, but hit so hard. I peed my pants and I sold my bike the next day. I was oh, like, no, man. this isn't for me. <laughs> Is that when you broke your neck? No, maybe, but no, I don't okay. think so. I think I know the exact ride. I broke my neck. It's on video, and the uh, snow machine just lands right here oh. on the top on a re-entry. It was bad. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's rough. We kind of skipped yeah. over that. We were talking before we started recording about her neck break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I just uh, went and got acupuncture on the way here, and <laughs> swinging for some stabbing. It's mm. no fun. I didn't yeah. want acupuncture that bad. They're why? Have you seen the pictures? Of what? Her acupuncture. I don't mean to bust you out mm, like that. Fine. I think it's on oh, my, it's my wild. main page, but yeah. Yeah, it's on <laughs> it's on her personal page. I think so. Let's go to it. How what many how many needles are they hitting you with? Today 32. was only three, but uh This is your artist page, right? Yeah, I think it's on my, my personal. It definitely was a weird feeling. There she is. Oh is. my goodness. <laughs> exactly. Oh, That's what yeah. I in the ear? Not pre- well, I don't know actually. They just it said, don't like move. It. Oh, I didn't know they, they mark you up That like needle looks like it goes through the ear. <laughs> See that? Or I'm am I seeing things? It oh, does right. look like that. It goes oh, through it and into the, through the Yeah, ears. into the head. <laughs> wow. They might as well put an earring in next time. This I one's Look at this one. Do they deep. numb you up some? No. No. It's weird. You don't really feel it that much, right? Yeah. I, I mean, it's it, just weird it to feel your, like, inner deep muscles. You don't really pay attention to those ones, and then you have a sensation there. You're mm, like, oh. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot better from this, and I've only had two treatments, so. That's good. That's yeah. perfect. Making some progress. Oh, God. Not I've got some neck though. things going on, too. That probably gives you yeah, the but I'm, not doing, I'm not doing acupuncture. I don't, I don't, homie don't do needles. But man. you don't see man, it, right? You're just, you don't like, do a there. lot of things. Yeah. You damn right I don't do a lot of things. <laughs> so do you do this in combination with massage or what? Uh, I was getting massage for a while, but it just wasn't working. So they kicked me out of that. And now I'm doing this and then laser light ser- therapy, which is just basically like super focused sunlight, which is giving energy to our cells to get them back in motion. Because essentially my muscles have just like, they're like, we're done. This yeah. area is over. There's so. some atrophy. Yeah. Yep. Pretty cool. Fun fact, though, the laser thing hurts really bad on tattoos, and my whole shoulder is oh. all tatted up, and that's where I need it. So I'm just oh. like, oh. <laughs> oh. And will man. you lose any of the tattoo from it? No. Okay. No, it just burns. I wonder why. Because it absorbs the heat, probably. Yeah. You know, because hmm. it's wet, you know, the ink. Yeah. Yeah. Be Another like, reason to consider tattoos. They don't tell you that and when you're 18. <laughs> 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 but when you need you acupuncture. <laughs> you have one you regret? Oh, no, I like all of them. Like, okay. Yeah. How I mean, about I'm, you, I'm no longer religious, but. Do you have any tattoos I regret? Yeah. Have you seen this guy's tattoos? Uh-uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Rough stuff. I know we covered this extensively <laughs> last podcast, uh, so I'm not going to bring it up too much. Yeah. But I'll my just man, go back and my do man. some research. Have you ever seen a menu? A menu? You hungry? <laughs> I got that dog in me. Oh, okay. <laughs> got the dog. And if you don't want that dog, man, I, I mean, you can get a bacon double cheeseburger oh, if man. you want. Mm-hmm. So we're petitioning for There's a pizza gonna be slice. A, be a pizza, pizza Small right in the back. Okay, yeah. can huh? I, but can I no, draw it on the arm? No, <laughs> man, right arm. there on the on the back. Little, tramp get, stamp, get. cheese slice. Little, little love handy. Nah, <laughs> no, <laughs> nah. Do you have any tattoos, Jack? 
Nope. No, I'll, I'll no. get a I'll get a pizza tramp stamp. Yeah. Yeah. He said it. You you get a glass of spilled milk. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I, I uh, think man, that my like, body is my temple, man. That's I'm what trying I'm to get saying. some salad. I'm trying to get some <laughs> salad <laughs> only. <laughs> I think if like I spent that time being creative, like what you get to do, uh, then maybe I would come up with something. But yeah, but I'm never being creative with like that kind of art, and I wouldn't want someone else to design it. You know, yeah. so if you draw me a pizza, because I have to get a pizza now. Yeah, you said it. I heard. Yeah, it. I talk, no, yeah. it has to be a specific. What we do is we get the slice from um, Delphi, or what was it, Delphi? Yeah. Send Pizzeria me a picture. Pizzeria Delphi in Palmer. Uh-huh. In mm-hmm. Palmer, okay. And then we'll take a picture of it, and then she'll draw it up. I'll have to go listen to the podcast. How spooky, I don't how spooky, you, <laughs> how spooky you, you want to go, though? Yeah. Scale oh, sky's, one to ten. sky's the limit on there. Ooh. Like little olive skulls. Ooh. Yeah, don't bother me. <laughs> yeah. As long as people look at it, and they're like, yeah, that's a piece of pizza. Yeah. First things first. Yeah. Spooky slice. One little bite out of it, but it's a vampire bite. Something. Yeah. Oh, so many options. There. Some bear yeah. tracks on it. You could have it Man. dripping red sauce, but the red sauce yeah. is really is like blood or something. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. game for anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My man's a anything within reason. Yeah. Just ain't touching the small of my back. <laughs> 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 Do you got a hot can cooker on your machine? No, I don't have that type of machine. Oh, it, oh, the special machine that does that? Well, that's those two strokes. What? You can't do them with four strokes? No, not that I'm aware of. Can you? I have a hot dogger, but it's in the box in my office, and I just like look at it, and I'm like, yeah. I, I don't should think put you that could, on someday. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you could do it on, on four strokes. I don't know. We have to ask the professionals. I that's know like you can't on the first thing mine. I want on mine. Yeah. An extra big one. Riding is like my only diet plan now, so I just bring like one snack in case I get bad, Oh, no, I'm but. trying to do flank. Steak, steak. onions. Okay, we were riding Sunday, chickens. and my buddy whipped out mimosas yeah. and ribs. That's nice. what I'm talking about. Hot ribs. Yeah, so yeah. Like see, that's what out. I'm trying to ride with. That's exactly the kind yeah, of that's guy. Right. I'll connect you. It's yeah. great. I'm trying to go have expeditions. Yep. Yeah, if I, if I could put a can cooker, I would, 100%. Man, you got room on the back of yours. You put a whole grill back yeah. there on the back, dude. Just put a Traeger back on the back. Insert it. Get it wrapped. Get it wrapped. Mm-hmm. Magers. I don't know if that'll work. That is pretty. No, I can't do that, man. Because then, like, no, we'd be. And out. you just plug it in right to the outlet of the machine. No. Oh snap! And just cook at three fifty for four hours. Have that thing ready. End of the day, pull yeah. out a brisket. Yeah, you can do it on four <laughs> yeah. strokes. We'll we get looked it, it up. Yeah. We looked it up. Nice. Well, I got one that's not being used. So okay, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna research it. Yeah. When I get home, see if they got one for. Oh, whole Bertha, man. What Big is your Bertha? machine? What's the nickname? Miss Bertha? Yeah, that's Big Bertha, man. Big Bertha. Auntie Bertha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Big Ray's The Alaskan Outfitter. Committed to outfitting Alaskans across the state since 1947. Whether you're a recreator, parent, guide, or corporate buyer, Big Ray's has the gear you need tailored for Alaska's harsh conditions. At Big Ray's, you'll find brands like Carhartt, Brundens, Darn Tough, FXD, Okiwear, and more. Big Ray's is your one-stop shop for both outdoor gear and rugged work attire. Check out their new exclusive line of durable but affordable waders inspired by and named after the majestic Aralik River in remote Western Alaska. The Aralik wader was designed by Alaskans and proven for the diverse waters of the last frontier. Visit Big Rays at any of their five locations statewide, two in Anchorage, two in Fairbanks, one in Kodiak, or check them out online at BigRays.com. Tailored Restoration, helping Alaskans turn disasters into new beginnings since 1972. Their 24-hour services include fire, water, mold, post-emergency cleaning, and repairs. Tailored built its reputation with years of committed and reliable service to the community with innovative restoration and home remodeling. When you have an unexpected home issue at the most improbable time, Tailored has an emergency response number with trained professionals available to help you anytime, day or night. Tailored Restoration has locations to serve you in Anchorage, Eagle River, Matsu, or Fairbanks. Give them a call at 907-344-1239 or make an appointment today at tailoredrestorationalaska.com. 
Total Truck, Alaska's premier supplier for custom automotive accessories and Overlander products. If you want to customize your vehicle, talk to the team at Total Truck where you'll find their expertise along with top brands such as ARE, RSI Smart Caps, Goose Gear, Eye Camper, Front Runner, Rigid Lights, Rhino Lining Bed Liners, and everything you need to outfit your truck or SUV. Want to turn your truck into a sleeping option? They have rooftop tents, custom camping equipment, electronics, and solar energy packages to keep you powered up deep in the backcountry. Stop by their store location on Dowling between the new and old Seward Highway or check them out at TotalTruckAK.com. See, these guys are... That's a good idea. So the new idea I have, actually, Sierra, thank you to her, mm. her artistic mind. Um, so I have my dad's old rifle. Okay, right. it's a fucking tank and a half. It's like 12, 14 pounds carrying this thing up sheep hunts. Right. But what I wanted to do, he passed it down to me, and I want to pass it down to my son. But before I pass it down, I want to take all the animals I want to take in Alaska, you know, the ones we eat, not just every animal. But I got the five I want, and then I want to pass it down. But I ha we were talking about the wraps, and I was like, ah, it's kind of faulty to – wrap a wood right rifle and then sierra was like no you should wood burn or carve or something yeah. wood burn or carve use the wood yeah all right i mean they do add, that go ahead i was gonna say it adds some weight but that epoxy wood art combination really i think cool it'd take too. away weight oh yeah yeah if you would burn it you're getting rid of some yeah. wood burning for sure yeah, yeah. Burn, they do that new thing where they like <laughs> electrocute it oh yeah and, and it, it creates like, yeah have you seen that what uh -huh. is this they like electrocute. Look up like wood electrocution or something like that. <laughs> I'm Are you sure? You, Are you yeah. sure? Oh, you too? Telling you, man. Okay. Yeah. Maybe on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Well, wherever well, okay. you want. Maybe not on YouTube. No, you can YouTube. It ain't going to be see. nothing. Fractal wood burning. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Bam. It's Fractal cool. wood burning? Yeah. Yeah, depending on how gangster you want to be. Yeah, like, they look awesome. You can do it in your garage with a car battery. You know where I'm from, dog. We keep it G. Yeah, that right there, you know. Oh, it's pretty cool. Which oh, like this? That's yeah. They put oh. an electrode, uh, like a grounding rod, on one end, oh. and they get the wood wet, and then they yeah. hit it with uh, like a positive cable, and then oh, the electricity just, just follows that? through the oh. wood. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. You create the path by adding the moisture, or the conductivity. Right. Yeah. I did my whole office interiors wood burnt on plywood because I was being cheap, but it ended up looking really cool. Yeah, it does look yeah. cool. So I like nice. it. Yeah. Wow. Nice and, and then what, do they there. fill it in with epoxy? Oh, yeah. Some people fill it in yeah. and some people just leave it blank. Oh, you know yeah. who probably be good at is Galen. Yeah, Galen would be good at it. Carl Stewart. Okay, that's a great idea. Yeah. And look at this. It's like a piece of art. Yeah. Just they another option, pieces. you know. Damn, we should get this table done. Yeah. Just another option. That would option. be cool. We that should do it idea. ourselves. It would be fun. You guys just, <laughs> just bring in the batteries. Like, now we have to buy all new equipment. <laughs> oh, look well, at the guitar. But Emily on standby with the fire department. Oh, look at oh that. yeah. That's cool. It looks great the on the guitar. Yeah, see? Wow. Yeah. What's it called again? Fractal wood burning. Yeah. It's crazy how it shoots. So off maybe that like on the rifle, huh? System. Yeah. yeah. You would you take cool. the, the, the barrel off of there. Oh, look at this huge piece. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's like a table. That's cool. Yeah, looks good. Honestly, that's probably the easiest and most affordable option. <laughs> but yeah. it still looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. It's taking out weight. That'd be cool if we got like a little wood, one of those little things and just have everyone that comes in sign the table. A little wood burner. Oh, yeah. A little wood burner. Yeah. They write their names in it. Mm, and then okay. it start look like a bathroom stall. <laughs> yeah, it would. It'd be <laughs> like yeah, it's right on the wall. Yeah. The wall. Next drawing. thing you know, we're at yeah. the fucking mm -hmm. Homer at the <laughs> dollars everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the salty dog <laughs> for the best quotes in that bathroom. Yep. Best quotes in that bathroom. <laughs> call Brando. Yeah, yeah call Brando. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, okay, we ready for some trivia? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I'm da, da, terrible da, da, da. at trivia, so here well, we go. Well, welcome to the terrible at trivia party. Perfect. Okay. We do, it's more about having fun. 
Is this X Files? It's my favorite show. Hey. All right. This trivia is brought to you by the Mayor's Salsa. Small batch. Small, small batch. batches. She's spicy. What's the smallest batch you can get? A shot glass. That right there. The Wainwright Reaper. Now double hot. <laughs> the Wainwright Reaper will be the hottest. The hottest that you can get. Boom. What kind of pepper? Only Carolina Reapers. Oh, it is Carolina Reapers? Yes. The new batches from here on out will be double the power. Oh, shit. And what you're used to. Damn. Double the pleasure. <laughs> yeah, D- depending on how you look pleasure. at it. <laughs> yes. Sponsored by Charmin. Yeah. Yes. Don't, <laughs> yes. Don't, don't play hockey. Go to sleep. Wake up in the morning after. <laughs> yes. Fire emoji followed by a poop emoji. Oh, man. Rocking Sounds and rolling, terrible, baby. Dude. Calling in sick to work. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that jar, uh, only available on uh, AlaskaWildProject.com. That's right. Or any events we go to. Yep. Okay. All Ship right. worldwide. On this uh, first question, Sierra, you may be asked last or <laughs> answer last. All right. What are the vehicle or snow machine wraps made of? Oh, like what material is it? I'm going to go with vinyl. Yeah, vinyl. What kind of vinyl? (laughs) But is it bad that I don't really know? (laughs) No, it's perfect. (laughs) Um, I'm a delegator. I'm a delegator. (laughs) (laughs) It's a um, triple layer, you know, urethane vinyl. Whatever laminated. Uh, Lucas. 3M vinyl. Yeah. 3M is a word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a number and a letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A polymer, polymer. No, come on, no hints. Come on, I said three. Oh, I thought that thing. was the answer. No, no okay, was, that's your. So you said three M. Like a, yeah, like a laminated vinyl. Okay, okay, laminated vinyl. I'm gonna pretend like I know the answer, but I don't want to tell you guys. Oh, yeah. You want me to start oh, the music back over? Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I delegate that work. I just like drawing. All right, so it's made from polyvinyl chloride, which is a PVC. Oh. Oh. PVC. Oh, okay. So I was kind of close. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that like, that's plumbing, right? That's how I look at it. (laughs) I'm like, that's plumbing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're baked in and cured all the ingredients. All right, Hmm. so next one. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, are you being for real? Yeah. So they print on it. No, before that. Like the sheets? When they make the sheets. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Picked up in the kitchen. Got it. Yeah. Got it. And it's. I wonder if it's like a special ink that they put on the outside. What's the ink made? I have no idea. I don't know. There's definitely certain colors, though. I've had um, a lot of training in the last year on figuring out, like, this digital color is not going to print the same. Yes. Right, right, right. All right. So this one's kind of cool. So... Name any of the artists that make up the Alaska Four. So the Alaska Four are four famous Alaskan artists, and they're known as the Alaskan Four. Name any of the any four? of the four. Is John Van Zy or something in there? No, that's the no. one I was gonna. That's the only one I because got. I, from the, <laughs> yeah, 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 from the um, thing. So He's John not on there. Nope. Dang, really? No. Mirror. I'm gonna say Mirror. There's a Robert somebody. You're saying who? Mir? Mir, M U I R. Oh. Is that. No. No, that's not correct. Is is there one that. Like, starts with an M or last name starts with an M? R? Mir? No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) Robert. Franklin. Is there a bird soul? Okay. Ooh, no, bird soul. This is before those guys. Oh. So these artists have over time taken in almost mythic status in the minds of long-term Alaskans. And am influenced in very degrees the way that we see our land. Like one of them's responsible for um, like the last frontier stuff. Oh. Oh, I have Man. no idea then. Did I, did I preface with I live in Willow and Talkeetna, <laughs> right? So <laughs> one of the artists is from there. Oh, okay. okay. So, so all these people died before any of us were born. Okay. Oh, well, I don't yeah. Feel well. <laughs> all right. All right. Nah. The answer so, is yeah. So they are the last of four is Sidney Lawrence, who lived eighteen sixty five to nineteen forty. 
Eustace Ziegler, 1881 to 1969. Theodore Lambert, 1905 to 1960. And Jules Dahlager, 1884 to 1952. Um, I thought that was cool, though. That is I, cool. I'm going to look up some stuff now. Yeah, I was just Can we like look up some of that stuff real quick? Get some inspiration. What's, tell me again the name. Which one do you want? Sid, so Sydney, what was the first one? Sidney Lawrence. He's really famous for he he had done lots of uh, Denali, then known as Mount McKinley, artwork, and he was the one Ooh, that um, look at that that really put the last frontier kind of lingo together. Who was I thinking of? I like that. He predicted his own death. He was only off by an hour. That was weird. Sydney Mortimer. Lawrence, dude, Mortimer. That's a great middle name. <laughs> I'm gonna name my next dog that Mortimer. Oh, Benga. go back. One of them almost looked like the Sphinx. What's that? This? Yeah. What's that? Lion's head. Oh, it is. Oh. Lion's is it Lion's head? I'm just joking. It looks like. It does lion's right? Head. Is that a port- port- portrait of him? I bet that is Lion's head because they're in. It looks like like Madnuska River right there. Mm-hmm. That's cool. All right. What's the other artist? Let's look at their stuff. Okay. So the next one would be Eustace Ziegler. So E U S T A C E Ziegler. There's some Zieglers in Tolkien. I wonder if they're any relation. Oh, okay. This is more depicting like Alaska Native. Yeah. La- yep. And so um, one of the actual th- faces in. Wow. Look at yeah. That. When I was reading through this article, they said that all four of these people spent, these artists spent a lot of time with um, Native Alaskans and doing Native art, art of Native Alaskans. One day, Sierra, you could be number five. Yeah. Can't find the guy. When I'm dead, though. (laughs) Yeah. It's the only way it works for artists. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Is Winter your real last name? It's my middle name. Okay. It was going to be my first name, but my mom was going into labor and there was a boat being pulled out of the shipyard called the Sierra and it was just like engraved in her head. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's cool. Dad yeah. wanted to name me Paul because that's his name, but Paul. I'm glad mom won that battle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, hi, ah, I'm Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I go by Paula, mom. Yeah, yeah. Paula. But Pauline, no, Paulette. Sierra Winter, they thought about the branding. Far That's in good. Advance, yeah. so they did. They did a good job. Yeah. 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 God, could you imagine that? Paul Winter. <laughs> My niece's middle name's Winter. <laughs> it's, it's a great fun. middle name. Yeah, I love it. All right. So I... I uh, Better in summer. Added another question just Back. because... Um, we we're, were bad talking, at trivia? No, we were talking about this earlier. So the only data I could find was between 1998 and 2010. So that's a 20-year period. How many fall through the ice events were there oh. in Alaska? Oh, geez. Events, not in, like in single people. Whole... How many fall through events in those 20 years? From And looking at it, the majority of them are snow machines. In 20 years? Yeah. Total. Yeah. That, this is like, a, I found a study and it's a, it only showed the data for 20 yeah. years. And it gets very specific. But Really? Yeah, I feel the, like the, it's a lot. So, yeah, it's got to be. Wait, we're just talking snow machines? No, all fall through the events, fall through See, ice. So that would be that would be like trucks. Like that would be the cat. That would th- and it would be reportable ones, right? Sure. Like so, someone got hurt probably, or needed to be rescued or died. But you're saying like not one one single person going on. Yeah, the stroll. so one of them could be a, a hundred people would be one event. Oh, okay. There were like ten snow machines all at once is one of it so how many because they didn't have it split up on individual, individual vehicles people or people they years. they had it on events i would venture out to you want to go first no okay <laughs> uh i'm gonna go with uh Oh, no, let me do some math. no, come on, hey, time hey, out, hey. man. You I can't pick up the phone. Math, That's man. cheating. Do some math in your head. Uh, like the high school kids got to do. Twenty. You know what? Let's just time. yeah. In the last twenty years. Let me round it. Let me round it. Let I'm me gonna, just go with uh twenty years. Let's say fifty thousand. What? 50,000 fall through. A, no, that's the good. Ice no, event. let them ride with that. All right, I was gonna say. Like, I'm gonna say eight hundred. Okay, I was going to say 419 and a half. 
All right, it was three hundred and seven, which is like sixteen a year. <laughs> so, fifty thousand. Yeah, You're like that, everybody's God, dead. That was, Damn, fifty thousand. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be Let my man about, use his calculator, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> I'll be thinking about how many times, times you're talking pie. about twenty five hundred yeah. a, a square year. plus That's b squared equals c squared. I think that we like would be done with winter sports if it. Well, was no, that. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Every single person would be done. I think of the amount of people that I see. Like reports online of their cars falling through, especially at a big lake, mm-hmm. right? And then work wise up north, like mm-hmm. way out in the bush. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a ton of fall throughs out there. 50,000? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. So, but I mean, 300 and some events. So, who knows how many? It was a, probably people. affected a thousand people at least, you know, impacted. Yeah. And, but these are like reportable ones where they, you know, need a rescue or. I feel like 300 events over 20 years is nothing. Like serious ones, like where they fall through and die? No, no, I, I'm not. I don't mean like it's nothing. It just seems smaller. Yeah, yeah, like that's nothing over the course I, I of time. Like it's a very low a lot, like per year, personally. Well, because like you said, reportable. Like there's people that are dropping their trunks in and probably getting somebody to tow it out yeah. without calling. Yeah, we're not know. talking about that. We're talking about like recordable, like I'd be near curious. fatal, mostly fatal ones, kind of. Huh. I'd be curious so. how many of those are on Big Lake. The majority of them were from Native Alaskans. Yeah. So Makes you know, sense hunting on the ice. Yeah. So I think it was like 67%. My dad used to read a book to me when I was little called Qualipiliates, which is about these like witchy native women that live under the ice and call you in. And that's when you hear the ice cracking. And it was a story written to keep children off the ice. And that shit worked. Wow. I was like, mm, I'm not going to the lake without my dad. What was it called? Qualipiliates. Qualipiliates? How do you yeah. spell that? Gosh, Q U A L A L A P I L. Well, shit. I I'm sorry bringing the life vest on my sled. I, um, yeah, just get the little the tube little inflatable ring. ones. Just uh, no, I'm not wearing that. You don't wear a pink flamingo around your waist? No, no. Wear the I'm whole talking suit. about this in the sled in case I fall in on the ice when I'm ice fishing. Then at least that's floating. You can swim to it. I don't know. I don't think you're swimming anywhere. Yeah, Can't most people out that, that hole fall hole through the fall ice, in. man, they that's the thing is they die because they, they fall through that ice and it sucks the air right out of them. And they panic. I know, but if you, you can make it past that, that you got to yep. find that exact hole that you came out of. Yeah. That's why you got to take those cold showers every morning. I did but the you polar bear re- jump this year, and I like like the cold, and I think that I'm fine. But I hit the water, and my arms just oh, failed. Totally. I was just like, "Help, <laughs> dead yeah. fish!" It was so cold. Shocked yeah. for like thirty seconds. Yeah. Was it the Seward one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I dressed cool. up like a pile of shit and jumped in. <laughs> Colon cancer awareness. Nice. <laughs> it was fun. Nice. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> Yeah, your dad's picture on your shirt and design. Yeah, should have got his face on there. <laughs> Jumping for dad. Uh, Galen does that one too, right? Yeah. That's why he doesn't yeah. do yeah. Is that one different than the one that's on? Yeah. University Lake. Yeah. Or no. Goose, no. Goose, Goose Lake. Goose Lake. Okay, yeah. this one's actually in the ocean. Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. I didn't know I was a little overwhelmed and busy and I didn't really pay attention to what I signed up for. I'm like, okay, I'm going to raise some money, jump in the ocean, but there's a minimum amount of money oh, you have to yeah. raise to jump. And I found out like two days later. And so I like hustled and raised, I think I raised like $1,700 in 16 hours nice. to get oh. my team qualified. Oh, was, okay. So yeah. you can raise Good it work. as a team. Yeah. But individually you each have to make like $750 to jump. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Or you have to pay it yourself. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You if you want to jump. Yeah, otherwise you just have to, you know, yeah, you did your work still, but you can't jump in. I think yeah. the one in town's like a hundred bucks. Hundred. The one at Goose Lake. Yeah, mm-hmm. something like that. Pretty the, cool. That if anyone wants to join me Olympics. next year, I'm going to do it indefinitely. My parents used to do it, and then they were like, "This is cold. We're done. Here's the baton." <laughs> do they turn. got the hot tub out there though? Right uh, when you come out, because no. at Goose Lake they had the hot tubs. Yeah, but yeah. that's actually really bad for you. It like shocks your system. You Too much. Yeah, you shouldn't go from that extreme cold to that hot. And that's oh. why in Seward they do the parade first. So your body slowly gets colder. So we walk oh. all the way through town before jumping in so you don't have as much shock. Oh, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I like it. 
Yeah. So how do you warm up right away? How do you warm what do you do when you get out the water? Uh, my mom manages the breeze in, which is right across the street. So I went into the employee shower and just like sat in there <laughs> oh, for an what hour. Is the average per- <laughs> but what is, do they have like a heating? What tent? do us poor folk do? No, there's just like hotels are really close to the harbor there. So most people just get a room and a lot of locals are from there. So their trucks are just running up at the top of the ramp and you leave. Go back in the truck Towel. and go back home. Yep. Yeah. Now they make these like really dope poncho things that are like th- maybe two inches of fleece. Ooh. You know, but, like my kids have them. They're awesome. Like thick? Know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's like, yeah. It would be like if, uh, what are what are those like coats the women wear, that, the down ones that are real that long? Go real long, you know? Like whatever oh, style that yeah. is. Yeah, I know what you're but, talking about. But it's a pullover poncho and it's just fleece and, and they're amazing. That I, I think that's nice. what I would want. Hairstylist coats? You can see like hairstylists with those long coats. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they like yeah. go down past. Yeah, right. I, I see it. Yeah. See it? I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I see. Yeah. It. But you got long sleeves and stuff. They're kind of bulky. But yeah, yeah. it's kind of like those. Anything would have been nice after that. We like stopped for photos afterwards. And I was like, okay, this is enough. We're yeah. this is enough photos. We're done. I should have brought oh, a bigger so cold. <laughs> Put the poop suit back on. Right. <laughs> you have a picture of that? I do. Yeah, it's on, uh, on my Instagram. Little poop, ways back. Poop suit. I did the the whole event via the GoPro, which was pretty funny. It should be on that one. Uh, Pretty recent, right? January, so not too long ago. I am an avid poster, though. Where did you? There you go. 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 Yeah. Oh man, we don't have to watch the reel. We're just yelling, check your colons. And I had this toilet paper that had a lot of colon (laughs) facts on it, so I just give everybody a couple strips. It was a good time. I suckered my friends into it. They didn't really know what they're getting into. How many people do that? I think there was like 75 to 100 jumpers this year. Oh, oh there's that, burn. There's, yeah. yeah, that's Galen's team right there. The the bowling one? Man, it was cold though. Do you go what all the way I to jump in the water? I did something because you text me. Huh? Uh, what was I doing that weekend? I don't know. I tried to sucker you into it though. You did. Yeah. That would have been great. <laughs> also, my friend Tony hasn't texted me since then. I wonder why. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> He's like, we're done Still talking. hypothermic. Yeah. I always lose one friend at the Okay, so you point. jump there, and then what? And then you. Oh, you got guys waiting to grab you. Yeah. And then you just, like, can't breathe for a minute. <laughs> oh, I bet. How long were you in the water for? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's like five seconds. The first time I did that Goose Lake one, that's how that, the, yeah, your reaction. Like, oh, gosh. Yeah, it's like, oh, my God, I'm going to drown. Yep. Yeah. It was a good time, though. Very cold. Is that Pro Joe? That is Pro Joe. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> hey, say hi to my buddies. I Pro actually Joe. just met him that day. Um, I, had, I had done a rap for him and I posted on my story like, hey, I need a third jumper. And he was like on my way. And I was like, cool, look forward to meeting you. We ended up having a really fun night. He bought my mom some extra toughs. They got oh, them. really? Yeah, it was weird. Nice. Weird day. Bro Joe. That's great. Definitely good recommend pictures. it though. Look, at, there's a ton of people. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. It's a pretty fun like event. That. And then the, like the American Legion does steak night for like twenty bucks every time every year. Oh too, really? So, yeah, it's a big oh, community cool. thing. Yeah, yeah. I saw some cans up the in the pictures above that. Can you go out? Did you design some cans? Some cans. Oh, that's the. Or is that your salsa? No, that's oh, the no. near beer. Yeah, I'm trying to get uh, sponsored by Athletic Brewing Company. Oh yeah, there you go. I've been sober four years, but these things are delicious. Yeah, uh, yeah, those are good. Yeah, they have so many different kinds. Yeah, they do a killer job. Yeah. What is it? Non-alcoholic beer. I mean, it used to just be O'Doul's, but now you can get IPAs and dark beers and all these little deliciousness. These so guys you, have a different process than all the other ones too. These guys are, have some like patented twelve step process, and so even the the other micro brews that are making them aren't making them like these guys. They, yeah. These are far and away better. And they're like not that bad for you. They're like eighty calories, low yeah. in carbs, like guilt yeah. free. Athletic bre- are they local? No, no but you can order okay. online. Yep, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna coffee. start carrying them at double shovel. So oh, you cool. can. Good to know. So you can make a design. For a can. Yeah. That small. I was actually talking with um, a new brewing company that's opening in Seward. So nothing official yet, but might be happening. 
Oh, that'd be cool. That's a good idea. I did a cool design way too far back for us to find, but of a skull with like this crazy tongue licking some hops and stuff. Oh, so. that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I could see you do one for um, Anchorage Brewing. Yeah. All his stuff is like a little darker, sp- darker, spooky, black and white, maybe a hint of a color in there. Yeah, like, especially it, for those limited edition releases yeah. that he does. The, Send them my way. Those, um, those are like a fa- two famous artists, and those are just their artwork. Right. And so he just buys the artwork to put on the can. And then the beer is actually named whatever they named that art. So really no so relation. It, he just likes the art. Yeah. That's the yeah. relation. Yeah. Oh. No. That's cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 It is super cool what they're doing. I mean, I they're, love they're, it. They're it's awesome, awesome designs. Yeah. Let me pull it up real quick. It's yeah. almost a shame though because he'd throw it away, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. so beautiful. But but those, but th- that art's always out there, right? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. that person's, you know, using that art for their real life. You yeah. Know, their real business. So They're selling it. Yeah. But so. that's not, it's kind of, I mean, similar to your style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That right. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. That is pretty cool. I wonder if they do it digitally. I think they, they do. They print it. it on a wrap and then um, it uh, wraps on the, it's a label. And then they they have blank cans that go through a little labeler. Yeah. Oh, and it gets put know. on. And so the top part where it says Anchorage Brewing, that is printed in a factory and the cans comes blank black. And then they just overlay it. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. That one's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's cool to think there's so many different ways that art, my art business can go. Like, obviously, sleds are my favorite because that's the industry I'm in, but it doesn't yeah. need to stop there. Yeah, totally. And you're the only one doing it. Pretty much. There's this one guy from Sweden, and I actually uh, messaged him for some tips, and he's pretty cool. His name's Leif Alverson, so a lot of the cool, gory raps that are already out there are his. But okay, like that's the only person in the world. No, I'm sure some other people are doing it. On but that. there's no one out there like in Minnesota or Canada or not at least that you ever. Yeah, not on a noticeable scale, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, because you could send the whole design to a print shop buy it whoever wherever yeah. yeah and on my website i do say like um i prefer these two because i can trust their quality but like if you have a local print partner like we'll get in contact and try to use gotcha. them have I'm you got that. anyone out of state yet yeah i have a lot of canadian customers i have a lot of people from maine and connecticut oh that's cool. yeah kind of strange but just yeah. one person picked it up over there and it's starting to spread yeah. I'm like a virus yeah that's perfect <laughs> mm. international yeah. we're gonna go well, yeah. whenever i'll do it yeah. that's cool yeah, yeah. That's super rad Huh. I'm enjoying it. It's cool because I can do it anywhere too. Well, yeah, I mean you're not tied down to an office. Yeah. So to and speak. so like I daydream about oh maybe I should have a print shop or maybe you know there's nowhere local printing wraps you know Skyline Sign is but right. Um, but then I'm like man I don't know if I want that. Let the experts that are you know they know what the vinyl's made of. I don't. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's kind of that and thing. I bet like, that ain't cheap. That yeah. printer. It yeah, you know investment. what you're good at, so do that. Yeah, I don't want to spread They're myself. They're good at thin. printing. Let them print it. Mm-hmm. And then it's also supporting another business in Alaska and not just trying to compete. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Skyline is in Eagle River. Anchorage. Anchorage. Skyline's in Anchorage. Yeah. Over uh, in that complex that has uh, like perfectionists is over. There. I don't know oh, what the name okay. of that. Yeah, yeah. Behind that the area uh, is yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. He does all sorts of stuff too. Like I've got printed some heavy duty hand washing signs for our clinic job and stuff. And he's pretty like versatile in what he's willing to do. Yeah. I thought he only did like vehicle wraps, but when I went in there, he's got stickers everywhere on Mm -hmm. his machines. And so companies will come to him like, you know, to print out stickers Mm -hmm. and he'll always put one of them on his machine. I was like, did you print those or are those people that you've dealt with? And he's like, well, both. Both, yeah. Yeah, they're clients that want their stickers printed, and he prints them, but he also puts one of their logos on his machine. Yeah. So yeah. for me, I'm like, well, shoot, man. I get these labels made right yeah, here. No, yeah. okay. I don't have to have them shipped in from Vermont anymore. Yeah. And mm. he, he's yeah. real. You can ask him quite. You could text him, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Actually get a hold he of somebody He did your local. stickers? No, but I talked to him, and that's what. Once I run out and I need more, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Right now, they're coming in from out of state. Yeah. Because I didn't know. I wonder if they're in comparison in price. Yeah. I didn't ask that. To some of the bigger like sticker, sticker mule or mm-hmm. something, yeah. Yeah. That That is kind of the hard thing because, like, sticker mule and sticky brand. 
Oh, they get me all the time. They're like, hey, today only. Yeah. 50 well, yeah. bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I need okay. That mug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they're printing those in such massive quantities that they're able to do it for like pennies on the yeah. 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 Whereas, take Skyline, right? It's a small local business. Yeah. You know, he's not printing. But, but if you could come you close, if you could come really close. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Pay then a little bit more it. to support yeah, local, of course. for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I definitely would. Well, and another cool right, thing, too, yeah. not for the salsa, but for vehicles and whatnot, I um, did some vinyls through him for, um, I sponsored some Crown Motor Racers, some young girls getting into it. Um, and he does this cool reflective overlay, too. So it, like, shows really good at nighttime on cars Ooh, and stuff. So. That's cool. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Or bikes. Yeah. That'd be sweet on, like, a snow bike. Yeah. Oh. You know? Yeah. Fully well, bright. Yeah, because you're reflective. cruising. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Just all one bright, whatever color. Yeah. Or like when in, in the dark, if it, you know, if you shine lights on it, it yeah. reflects. That, that's, that's what, what the, want, you know, yeah. it's not chrome like you were talking about no. the overlay, but the sticker on the back of that I just had put on the window. You have the reflective on it's it. It's reflective. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. So if you hit it with a light, mm. it'll, it'll shine. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. So you can spot the mayor rolling. <laughs> they see me rolling. Yeah, yeah smoke. Just see if, <laughs> I'm just seeing if you hide in them aunties or not. Yeah. That's Where it. they at? Where That's they it at? exactly. I'm on the hunt. See, you better just put the sled in the back and drive around. That's what I'm That's saying. The only way to do it. Yeah, you need a sled bed. And if they're like, "What you doing?" I'd be like, "That was your warning right there." Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. ain't out hiding. What's, what's up? <laughs> Uh, uh, what are yeah. some of your favorite places to go ride? Oh, man. Wherever it just snowed and it's Bluebird. Yeah? All um, over? All over, yeah. I mean, two years ago, I kind of took a life sabbatical and was riding four days a week. Um, and so I'd, like, drive to Cantwell one day, and I was living in Eagle River then, so I'd come back, and then I'd hit Seward the next day, I'd come back, and then we'd go to Eureka the next day, and then I'd be like, where's all my money? Oh, it's in my gas tank. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I really enjoy south because you get up high in the mountains you can see the ocean it's just a different creature down there and i uh, i like riding where i feel a little bit scared because i'm pushing myself yeah mm. so grand view um lost lake when it's good is just amazing mm. yeah. Um, yeah let me ask you a question because i want to show a video it's you local ride, right you're a really good rider and so it's mm-hmm. not like a secret squirrel spot type thing but have you done Upper Huffman? You know, I haven't, actually. Um, I was going to go the other I'd day. I'm curious about it. I haven't done it either. No. Um, I heard this year it's been pretty windblown and icky, but yeah. I just had a buddy text me today. He said, Upper Huffman's going to be good after this storm. Yeah, I've been curious how, how it is. I've never been up there. Yeah. But I've seen Let's go. photos and stuff. Yeah. Hold Check on. Look at the audio on this. Oh, I don't know if we need the audio. I get a yeah, lot. Yeah, we need the audio. <laughs> I get a lot of bad songs on there. Uh, bad songs? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't really screen them that well. I'm like, oh, oh that's probably we'll get not flag- a good choice. We'll get flagged on YouTube, yeah. too. They'll say, hey, knock that shit off. Can't play this. Let's see what we got here. This was yesterday. Nice. Where are you at? Uh, oh. We just went to Petersville. Okay. Had a wow. friend on her first ride. So, Petersville. What are you using, the 360? Yeah, I love that thing. You still have the huge, where is it mounted? Um, it's on the left-hand side of my, my gotcha. screen area a little bit. You can see the shadow there. Oh, I yeah. like the helmet view, but I struggle, like, turning the button on and off, so. That's just perfect. You choose the angles. Yeah. I did so buy the new clean clamp. clean and crisp, too, like, yeah. the b- stabilization. Oh, yeah. snap. There you go. Rap, rap. <laughs> but like petersville area like i like eureka you can get up in the mountains and stuff but i'm definitely to the point where i feel i don't feel challenged in the flatlands it's fun but i feel like if i don't go to mountains in between the flatland rides, i'm like losing my abilities or not necessarily abilities but my overcoming fear yeah because it definitely can be scary sometimes yeah the snow this last week was really nice yeah there's definitely um, a chapter where, I, I don't know, like basic stuff was definitely intimidating and also just doing it on my own as a, a lady. Um, but I'm really proud now. There's like little simple things. I'm not necessarily like sending it off big jumps now, but like I can go fast through the trees. I can get myself unstuck. And like having that independence and control is like not a milestone that I thought I would look for. But yeah. now that I'm there, I'm like, wow, that's actually really fun and cool. Yeah. Right. Oh, you lost your whole front end there, or what happened? 
No, this is pre wrap. It was in the mail. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Bertha ain't doing Ooh. that. Ooh. A little Lost Lake action. Yeah. And you're coming up from Primrose or? Um, I do from Firehouse side. Okay. Yeah. What do you ride? Tell me again. Uh, 24 Boost, Polaris, 850, Chaos, Matrix slash Tunnel, 155, 275, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so many different <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yeah, people like uh, a lot of people are afraid of Lost Link because the trail to get up there. And I don't know if I just get lucky every time, or maybe because I'm small and I don't have a lot of weight on my sled. But last time I was there, there's these guys in the parking lot, and they're like, "Man, the trail's so bad today. You're not making it up there." And I was like, "Well, I better go then." Um, and then some guy was like, "If you make it, I'm making it." And I just zipped right up. And my buddy was filming, and that guy like tried four or five times afterwards. I'm like, "That's what you get for talking shit." <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to go get one now. A, what a mountain sled like this they're a lot of fun after we went riding together because we switched sleds oh because yeah. you have to stay kind of for trail. like all of 10 seconds well i was all I, I was in the same stuff that they were in just ride the but it yeah 100 percent. yeah totally like the old the old lady man she feels like she got power steering and i got on hers and i was i tried to steer it like by turning the handlebars like yeah. i'm used to no and I literally like couldn't turn it. Oh yeah, no, you and I counter. almost you flew over. Counters. Like I had to catch myself. Right, like I wouldn't be about to be the fool flying over the handlebars out here. Oh shoot, I will. Man, Wait, I couldn't I even get to... your sled to turn. That was rough. I had my leg like all out like a <laughs> shrimp boat, just trying that. to balance it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, because mine, you have to turn it. You have to physically turn the skis and then shift your weight, kind of like yeah. to really get yeah. it to dig in and turn because it's so heavy. But toes down on my sled. Well, she, yeah, yeah, she's like, oh, just push down with your toes. And I was like, okay, this doesn't make sense, but all right, let's do it. And I literally push down with my foot, and the sled just goes that way. Yeah, that's all the like, way you Like, you don't need. turn the handlebar on those mounts. That's sleds. tough you to just, learn. That's awesome. It it's is. It's really hard to learn that. It's like a dirt bike. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, man, I want to get one, because it's like that challenge. Yeah. The right. problem is, and I stated this before, is when you get one, then you're gonna go with everyone that's been doing this shit for 20 years, and yeah. they don't want to wait for your ass. <laughs> no, we just pick you the days to do that. We're like, you know, the conditions are right. So Let's you go. need to go with some rookies, <laughs> yep, yeah. so that you can go learn and get all unstuck together, and then make your way up to you know the. That's why we riders. got the the three banditos. The three banditos, yeah. You know, I, I, I'll tip over out there and they come and save me. Uh, oh, you need like signal? four. Her, four or five. Her and another guy, Chris. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ski pulls yeah. for days. <laughs> yeah, they roll up on me and I'm just laying in the snow. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> just Eating it. Don't know what happened, just man. Waiting. Just trying to turn and uh, we flipped over. Just opening the, the cooker up. All right, <laughs> I'm going to eat this jalapeno <laughs> cheddar dog. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I've had a lot of ladies be like, hey, I'd love to go ride with you and learn some tips and stuff. And, like, I'm all for it. I want ladies to learn. But, like, it's hard to teach. It's not really something I can say all these different things. But until you, like, one day you're going to turn it the opposite way and yeah. feel it. And you're going to be like, oh. It's like when you but. do a backflip for the first time on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, ah. I still haven't done that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. You got it finally. It's, yeah. funny you it's funny you bring that up because I was going to bring that up at some point. Oh. Um, and obviously, Trampolines? No. <laughs> uh, I think those days are behind me. <laughs> I don't think I can move like that anymore. Uh, we've had some some other women on the show that, that ride, and I think there's a pretty good group of listeners or followers that that are women and either ride or want to get into it. Yeah. And so I know we've chatted a little bit about exploring the idea or what how you can i guess initiate like a women's group thing kind of just to get more women out there to feel more confident yeah that you I'm, can go out and do this just like i think it's growing for sure every, any dude can yeah i know that the snow machine club i just shared their um yeah, women's right. ride that they're doing right um and I think even for that, though, like I, I shared that with some of my friends that have been reaching out to me and they're like, oh, yeah, I want to go. But like, I don't have anyone to go with. And it's not necessarily like, hey, teaching you how to snow machining. It's teaching you that you don't need anyone to go with. Obviously, don't ride alone, but like meet your friends at the trailhead. And if you need to ask for help unloading your sled, ask for help. Yeah. Yeah. But there's such a stigma about it of like, 
oh, got to go to no, or like, oh, you can't park there, you, all that stuff that's happening that makes people, and it happens to dudes too. Like right. it makes people feel weird about it and they don't want to ask for help. Well, uh, yeah, because you can, you can go on, on just say like a, one of the group pages yeah. and say, hey, I got a day off where it's a good place to go and that's what you'll get is, oh, you got to go to no. Yeah, like, you can't know the conditions. Dude, there's no secret squirrel spot out here. Like, Well, yeah. that's, I mean, this, we've talked about this before. There's like certain activities in Alaska that are like s- secret. Yeah, they're on lockdown. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like hunting for sure. And right. it depends what species, like caribou people are going to be like, oh, I'll go over here. Yeah. But mo- ain't no one telling you your moose or where you're getting sheep right, right. or where you're getting lingcod, you know what I'm saying? Or where your shrimp spot is, you know, yeah. there's all these like secret. And then yep. I guess snow machine is the same thing. Yeah, they but, got their You know, own. your trout hole, you ain't telling people where that is. But that's unwarranted with sledding. Like it's such a big state and there's so much snow and like Petersville, Everyone goes there, but it's so huge. Like, yeah. you're never going to run over the same tracks. Yeah, and the people that are trying to get in, like, they're not trying to go to Shredder's Gulch or wherever, Lost Lake, to go where the you guys yeah. are going. They're just trying to find the, the first spot, you know, right. the easy spot to go. Yeah. Yeah. Until they, then eventually they'll be at trying to find. That's why I like going. Petersville, man. Just Shut whether up. you're an expert or a novice, like, you can go to Petersville. Yeah. And go cruise. Mm. And, and you then can you find can, the different zones. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can go to the forts. That's usually where I tell everyone food, right? to yeah. go for yeah. their first couple of rides too, because there is that space. If you're like, I'm tired, I'm wet, I fell in the creek, like go have some pizza and like yeah. ride the trail back. Yeah. Yep. I That's don't know. I mean, real. I went through that transition of like relying on my ex-husband and then leaving him and being like, well, I don't want to quit this sport. And it was very scary to just be like, I'm going to do it. But I don't know. You just do it. I just asked for help. I asked my buddy that knew stuff about sled decks, how to install one and just like, finding the right community that's willing to answer those questions instead of being yeah. like, Oh, you're on your own. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not what yeah, and I think, is. I think that's a hard thing for the, the, the women population is it's such a male dominated sport. Yeah. And I know there's like a, transition happening right <laughs> well you're not the only one we've no. had a few girls that yeah come in but it, it, they are it is a it. very uh-huh. male dominated sport and i could see how a, as a new riding woman or a Ooh, be- sounds like a good sign <laughs> a beginner or something like that <laughs> you know you're intimidated like tell me more yeah. I gotta load this sled. Like I gotta drive a trailer. And it's heavy. It's I like obviously easier for stronger dudes, but yeah. Um, I know Ashley Chaffin's starting oh, off some Ashley. sort of. She's starting something in Valdez, and she just yeah, did a women's clinic um, this weekend. Actually, I had a friend go to it, and she said there was over forty women. They broke off into different levels. Um, they did a more advanced ride the next day too, and invited people up into the hills. So that's cool. It's happening. Yeah. Man, like so Ashley. how do we? Ashley actually used one of my songs. I used to do rap. Nice. Hip hop, and she's yo. one of my songs. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, she's it. one of my songs <laughs> on one of her videos, and she was actually supposed to be one of like the first like five guests we had on. But she's so hard to track down. Yeah, to come, you know, she's in Valdez, right? Valdez, mm-hmm. and got her stuff, and she's out riding. And I'd be like, "Hey, what's up?" She's like, "Well, I'm in Canada. Now I'm in Maine. Now I'm, I'm like, okay, well, let she me know when you're someday." Yeah, <laughs> Ashley, we still want you to come in. All right, yeah. girl. Another Come Valdez on. rider too is Jessica Britt. She uh, rides snow bikes over there, and she's oh really, she's really cool. You should have uh, her on nice. someday. Jay, 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 Jay Dog. Yeah, yeah. I got to do that last year, Jay. That okay, so this year fun. I'm trying to. When I'm better, I'm trying to go do that. All right, and I'm thinking I'll about. I'll go. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking th- about getting on that squad, dude. It's so fun. The yeah. snow bikes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. When I did the uh, poker run up there at Sheep Creek, after the poker run was over, some dude showed up. And they were on like snow bikes from hell. Mm. They didn't look like regular snow bikes. I mean, they had long tracks. They looked like those Modded hill climbing, out. yeah, hill climbing dirt bikes. Uh-huh. And they just put a track on that Joker, like extended frames, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was just the wildest thing. The, yeah, I mean, the new kits are pretty big. They're yeah. pretty long. Yeah, I've done a snow mm-hmm. bike wrap. Oh, you have? Yeah, nice. It's pretty cool. They just hop up on these like. Snow berms that the DOT will create on the side of the road from plowing, mm-hmm. like it's nothing. Oh, know? yeah. And just wow. ride right on top, just for sure. Mm. Be gone. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. they're doing the same stuff that any snow machines are doing in turn again. Mm hmm. It's oh. weird when you're out there and you hear them, though. You're like, what the? Yeah. Where's that guy? Way <laughs> loud. Yeah. 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 I do know uh, Valdez Hill Climb two years ago, our buddy, 
hit this drop and how he landed just hit just right where his ass cheek got ripped off by the peg though oh really yeah like he was mm. he was in the hospital that night and then my friend that i was with she broke her femur and so we went down to the hospital that Jesus. night too and it was just like chaos oh, but yeah he sold a snow bike after that yeah, yeah. <laughs> but gone. Damn. Uh, was that an old kit or a newer one i don't know yeah. but yeah i well, mean there's risks to all of it yeah, yeah. totally <laughs> you can go hard with anything yeah right my neck is broken crazy. at the crew yeah, moment, exactly. so whatever yeah. what am i saying <laughs> huh yeah uh, have you ridden oh, a snow bike? Yeah. Mm-mm. But my experience on a dirt bike tells me I shouldn't. Mm. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. I'm, I'm I'll, I'll right stick there to what you. I know. Well, I feel like with the snow bike, you're fall, falling in the snow. Yeah, yeah, if you fall in the snow, though. Yeah. You know? Because dirt bikes thing, is... It, it doesn't jerk back, right? Oh, when I you're like playing that. with oh. the clutch, you know? So. I think that'd be the hardest part. Like on my dirt bike, the problem is when I'm on my sled and I get a little spooked, I just pin out. Mm-hmm. And on the dirt bike, I'm just like, oh no, full throttle. Yeah. And the clutch is one more thing to think about. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. What if they'll get the automatic? There, so. the, there are ones with the automatic. Yeah, mm. snow bikes. Yeah. yeah, be a little easier to start with, I think. With Unless the automatic you're no bikes, clutch, so to speak. Yeah, it's yeah. an automatic clutch. So is a snow bike? All it is is, is it, it literally a dirt bike? It's with a you dirt bike with a kit in a track. It, no, I, yeah, I've seen them on the thing, but I didn't know they, if there was any. They don't difference. Make, they don't make a snow bike, so no, they they kits. make a kit that you put on your dirt bike. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Timber so, sled. Couple yep. others. Yep, timber sleds. What we rode. Yeah, they're they're really fun. Jay's doing awesome stuff, and you know he was a pro snowboarder, and you know he's in his fifties now, and can't kind of snowboard to the same level that he'd like to. And now he's doing what he used to do on the snowboard on the on the timber sled or the nice picking the same lines. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. There was one that was sick. Was yeah, it there's one? one. He's on a ridge in turn again. I saw a guy driving north that had four of I them mean, on a who sled. Who puts deck. out a fire like that? <laughs> oh, yeah, this one. This is like in his neighborhood. Also, you have so much m- more lines that we can't pick on sleds because of how small you are. Right. He was like, dude, we need to go winter caribou hunting on these things. That would be so <laughs> I mean, you how are you going to drag a some... thing, though? How are you going to bring the meat out? I think it would probably you'd have to have someone yeah, with a snow machine to drag the. Okay, so you steer by leaning. turning the ski versus leaning. No, it's it's a little much bit of more like the mountain sled. It, you you're turn you do turn on that ski a little bit, but you're mostly turning with your bot with your body weight. Okay. I'd say ninety percent is body weight. Are gotcha. you mostly sitting? Looks like he's mostly sitting, and then standing up when he's going to do like a little turn. Or a you little can do either. Jump. You can do either. It doesn't look like he's going that fast either. Well, he's kind of in these tight little yeah. areas. Yeah, right looks here. fun. And I think that it has more like vertical features than we can really tell here. Like there's yeah. a lot of up and downs going yeah. on. What about the stuck value? Like, is it easier to Super get that? Super easy. It's so, so light. Super easy. Just get a couple easy. people to That's pick it up. One. Probably yeah, one I, I could pick, pick it, pick it up, up myself. Yeah. Um, well, being that they're so light, I'm assuming they don't get stuck much then, right? And they probably don't trench as bad. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Or like everything else. I don't know. I'm not a pro. I, don't, <laughs> I only go at Jay's house. <laughs> I mean, he has like twi- he has like twenty acres up at Bear Valley. Oh, He's nice! Right above, right. you know. No one lives above him, so that's a perfect toy for that. Then, yeah. too, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, so, oh, here he's in turn again. Here, oh, he's up there. Up yeah, there. no, he yeah. he goes to the top with no problem, huh? No, no, he just yeah, he'll switch back up a little bit. But can you put a cooker? There's on Chris Yelverton <laughs> right there. Hey guy, where you going? That was Chris Yelverton that he just passed. Oh, he's riding with Chris. Yeah, I feel like they'd See, be difficult is... to side hill on. But not really. Look, it, he just has his leg kind of out a little bit. See how he puts his leg out? He's just yeah. kind of like mm-hmm. it side hills really well. Looks like oh, look at that. Just yeah. Oh, here's his path. Yeah, that is wild. It's so yeah. pretty up there when it's pretty. Yeah, I was full in. Ooh, it, this is awesome. As soon as I can't ski as hard as I can, I'm getting one of these things. Man. And it's you said it's not as jerky as a dirt bike with wheels, like on the on the dirt. Mm, no. No, it's much smoother. And you still have that shock absorption, too. Yeah, but it has so much power. That's cool, man. Yeah, you'd need that's it to get awesome. up journey. See, that's oh, why sure. I want another a mountain sled. Well, that's a good view. There. Yeah, down. here's picking some lines. I bet you just end of the. I mean, that, that is so too, steep right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. 
That That's really so rad. cool people doing rad stuff like that. Yeah. He entered a video doing this in, um, what was the film festival? The Great Northern Aspects. Northern, yeah, the Aspects, Northern Aspects. Film Festival. Yeah. Yeah. So when's the Awaken? Um, can you tell? let the boys know we're trying to be a part of that? Yeah. Yep. Help promote it and I'm, um, definitely I'm, go to it and uh, represent. Yeah. I'm the boys, so now I know. You're the boys. Okay. Yeah. Now you know. Uh, no, Josiah So save us. Um, where's it going to be? Is that Beartooth? Uh, Hilltop is where oh, we Oh, that Hilltop. Yep. That's Hilltop. right. Oh, we were yeah. supposed yeah. to go last year. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. We, like what happened? We had something going on, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But I remember we had something going on. What's the date? On. Like tentative? When uh, is it's November? end of October, early November. We okay. try to do like a soft premiere, and historically we've only done that in Seward. Okay. Um, and we do like a sneak preview, or we're going to do like a bloopers film. Um, we might try to change that sneak preview to different communities every year to start reaching more of the backcountry oh, enthusiasts. That's cool. Gotcha. Um, but then well, that's kind of what Northern Aspect does. Yeah. They'll yeah. do the video, and then they'll premiere at different places, Arctic yeah. Valley. And we'll do like a little bit, and then have the main one at Hilltop because um, yeah. they have the space for it. But what's the turnout looking like? I think we had like 150, 200 people this oh, year. Actually, yeah. okay. it was much bigger than I anticipated. They got a big screen there. Yep. I'm assuming. Yep. They got beer still? Good. Yep. Um, last year we were sponsored by Magnetic North. He gave us a perfect one, and Red nice. Bull showed up too. And so nice. Yeah. yeah. Jeremiah makes good beer. Yeah. I like to go do that. We were no, recording definitely. is what we were doing that day because yeah we were Excuses. building up the calendar because we were taking the summer off. Remember? Huh. Oh yeah. For yep. surgery and everything yep. else. Fair enough. But, but I have talked to Joe. I think I texted you too. Yes. Yeah. What's Short for Oct Josiah? Yeah. Once the October schedule work, comes out. You don't out. go Josiah Joe, do you? Or is it J-O? Just J-O. I J -O. call him Josiah. He is J-O-J-O spaghetti on my phone. So. J-O-J-O <laughs> spaghetti. -O. Okay. Is he the bigger guy? He's a bigger guy? Yeah. Kind of looks like you, your brother? We did a photo mother. together. Oh, the yeah. You us. got one on there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, he looks like we're cool two big dude. dudes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we got him coming in in October. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, that's right. right now he's busy with work, but okay, we chatted uh, via message, and I told him, I told him, like you said, yeah, don't, don't give, give him, him an option. option. He will be here in October <laughs> to <laughs> okay. Well, he should awaken, if he wants to promote the Awakened show. Talk yeah. about we'll Awakened in general. And I might have to sucker him into I, I'm really I happy the that they're doing but. it because I remember when they first started. Because mm -hmm. um, we used to be a part of the Borderline shit back in the day and all those crazy video premieres and now Northern Aspects and there's some other really cool ones and fly fishing ones and we did the bow. What's that one that we did? Um, there's like a bow hunting one that we did. Yeah. Um, full draw, definitely full draw film festival. So we definitely want to get involved with that. So we got to yeah. get him in so that yeah. we can go and and represent yeah, out there. For sure. Yeah, no, yeah he's great. on the list. We just have to do the October schedule. Yeah. Once that's planned out, out, we'll add him on there in accordance with when you guys yeah plan on dropping. That'll give us more. We'll have more things to talk about by then too. Because right now we're just kind of planning the film layout. Um, but I, I will start reaching out to sponsors within the next couple of months. So how does that? How does that go? Is it all just awakened writers, or are you guys taking films from other people? Um, primarily, there's a lot of awakened content, obviously, because we're out there doing it, but we try to ride with different people all the time. We always try to invite new people into the crew and go out, um, and then we do have some other people that send in content and share with us, too, just okay. from our, you know, connections. Right. Yeah. Not, awesome. Awesome. Um, I mean, I feel like there's a, like, they're trying to bring a resurgence back to that because there was the heyday of like this, um, turn again, hardcore, turn again, yeah. hardcore and all that. And yeah. that just kind of like, I don't know, fell off. And then now it's like the boys, the video stuff's coming back. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I mean, I don't mean to cut you off. I, I know like you guys, you've seen Josiah's work. Yeah. yeah. Like, in, like oh, he does a good job. Yeah. Dude yeah. makes killer videos. Like, yeah, he's doing great. Yeah, yeah. We, we're having yeah, a lot yeah. of conversations about, like, what is it that we're trying to say? You know, like, what's the story in the film and whatnot? And, like, the biggest thing that we always come back around to is, like, there is hardcore videos. There's all these people sending it. You know, there's the guys out there right now that can do backflips, and their videos are rad. But the awakening of winter is more about, like, the community of snow machining mm. and kind of just showing people, like, we're all different works of life out here doing this sport that we love, and we do it together, and we help each other. And so... We show the stucks, we show the hard times, we show the fun times. Like Show the windshield yeah. guys. Yeah, we show the windshield guys. We show <laughs> them all. <laughs> um, but no yeah. shame over here. <laughs> but. All right, awesome. Well, maybe we'll get Jay to put in a video. 
yeah. with the snow bike. Is there a submission kind of no, path? No, just okay. get a hold of us. Um, awakenproductions.com. I made a website for it. Okay. But cool. Yeah, yeah, let's get some content yeah. in there. Yeah, it'll be dope. That'd be awesome. Jay okay, will be cool. stoked. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sierra, thanks for coming in and yeah. chatting with us and um, sharing all your cool art with Alaskan people, people that are trying to get stuff wrapped and what you've already done so far and your Alaska lifestyle growing up in Willow and all that. Um, Tokina, but yes. I'm a Willow Billy now. I transitioned. Willow Billy? Willow Billy, yeah. Willow Billy. I'm a little closer to the cities now. Okay. Soon you'll... <laughs> just don't go full Wasilla. Uh, <laughs> I tried that for a minute. It didn't work out. We love you, Wasilla. We love you, Wasilla. We love you, Wasilla. We're yeah. not talking yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks for having me yeah thank you and where can people if they are trying to find you online if they're trying to find you on instagram where can they get a hold of you yeah artwork by sierrawinter.com it's artwork by Sierra Winter on instagram and facebook shoot me a message and get you a quote okay and we'll work on that snowblower yeah 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 that'd be sick you gotta come up with a good name gotta wrap it yeah i'm gonna yeah. put it for rent snow dragon facebook rent the white dragon Josiah Sled's called the Dragon Tree because he always takes out all the trees. Yeah. He's got the dragon like 12 tree, But D-R-A-G-G-I-N? Oh, yeah. That would have been better. Where were you? Where were you? Uh, Thanks, Adrian, also for coming in. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yep. Um, thank you, Alaska, for listening. Please support the sponsors that support the show. Um, we know that the website has been down for a while. We are just waiting on a couple of things for it to launch. We got all this cool new merch that's going to be for sale. So check out alaskawildproject.com. Leave us an Apple review if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're almost to 1,000. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, thank you for the support. Thank you to all the listeners, everyone. We appreciate you. And as always, Alaska, please. Stay wild. <laughs> you remember my speaking to you of what I call your overcautiousness. Are you not overcautious when you assume that you cannot do what the enemy is constantly doing? The Alaska Wild Project podcast is brought to you by the following sponsors. Barney Sports Chalet, supplying hunters with the best hand-selected gear since 1963. The exclusive home of Frontier Gear, built for the rugged Alaskan terrain. Your one-stop shop for all your outdoor needs. Visit Barney's today at 906 West Northern Lights. Big Rays, the Alaskan outfitter. Committed to outfitting Alaskans across the state since 1947. Whether you're a recreator, parent, guide, or corporate buyer, Big Rays has the gear you need. Tailored for Alaska's harsh conditions. Check out their new exclusive line of aerobic waders. Big Rays for all your outdoor gear and rugged work attire. BigRays.com Tailored Restoration 24-Hour Emergency Home Services. Helping Alaskans restore their dreams since 1972. Services include fire, water, mold, post-emergency cleaning, repair, and remodeling. Give them a call in Anchorage, Eagle River, Matsu, or Fairbanks. Hit them up at tailoredrestorationalaska.com. Total Truck and Alaska Overlander, Alaska's premier supplier for custom automotive accessories and overlanding products providing all-inclusive rental vehicles and trailers custom outfitted to explore the Alaskan backcountry with a unique and convenient traveling experience. TheTreehouseAK.com, located at 341 Boniface Parkway, Alaska's own and grown cannabis and CBD store. Ask the bud tender what the strain of the day is to get your 10% off. The Treehouse, where the culture lives. AKO Farms, located in Sitka, Alaska, built from the ground up with concentrates as their single motivation, with exclusive products such as their sugar wax, full spectrum diamond sauce cards, and more. Ask your local bud tender about AKO. Marijuana has intoxicating effects that may be happy forming and addictive. Marijuana impairs concentration, coordination, and judgment. Do not operate a vehicle or machinery under the influence. There are health risks associated with consumption of marijuana. For the use of only by adults 21 and older, keep out of the reach of children, and marijuana should not be used by women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Lawn Pro AK, Alaska's year-round professional property maintenance team. Services include weekly lawn care, custom landscaping, fertilizing, weed control, turf repair, and more. Schedule your free estimate at lawnproak.com. Alaska's OG Cider Company, Double Shovel, crafting gluten-free colonial-style ciders, founded as a healthier non-inflammatory brew option. Drop by their pop and tap room in Anchorage off of 58th and Arctic or visit the second location in Kodiak. Double Shovel, award-winning ciders. The Alaska chapter of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. BHA is the voice of our Alaskan public lands, waters, and wildlife. Their goal is to uphold our hunting and fishing legacy while keeping our public lands wild. Stand up today and join BHA at backcountryhunters.org. 
Alaska Mining and Diving Supply, located in Anchorage, is our go-to for powder sleds and utility rigs. Whether you're in the mountains with the flat bill bros, running trap lines, or hauling freight, they have the selection to get you dialed from peaks to the valleys. Find them on Commercial Drive or akmining.com. I say try. If we never try, we shall never succeed. This proposition is a simple truth, and it's too important to be lost sight of for a moment. If we cannot beat the enemy where he now is, we never can. It is all easy if our troops march as well as the enemy, and it is unmanly to say they cannot do it. <laughs>